out of into play anymore. Uh, there's always a point where people will say, oh, why did you pick up a map that you're not really as uh, well-versed in? Even though it might be counterintuitive, you just don't want to have that uh, come pop out when the series gets deeper in. You might not want to play game three with Fracture when you might not be as comfortable with it. I don't want, I don't want to say that they're not prepared for it, but uh, that is one of the reasons why some teams just want to get their quote unquote worst maps are, uh, out there, even if. Oh, timing is gonna be crucial. Almost on the charge out there from Forsaken. It comes in for the pinch, but the rest of the attackers now from Persija already gotten their uh, way on the beat. And you know, that's what the Negan can do on a map like this. Fast rotations to get the catches on. It's a fast take here for Persija. So trying to shoot away the scoreboard. Go away. We want the action here, but drop down immediately as Paper X is all stacked up by the arcade. Jingdo to find out the lurking Eeyore and might freaking get on the board as well. The buy right now whipping out the headhunter. Here comes the push guard to save Forsaken, but it's Asterisk who does get the takedown. BSJ though, stuck in the middle of this tower. And the siege is here from Benkai and the Vi who say bye. Paper X! First round, using pistol and already looking pretty exciting. I have to say though, Asterite, team yeah. ideology-wise, Paper Rex in first gel, especially for the Paper Rex we're seeing right now, who's more willing to keep on fighting in these earlier rounds. This can be scrappy because we saw from first gel against Bonkers how they took control of the last two maps when Bonkers couldn't keep up with the, I'd say the style and speed of their pace. That might work against Bonkers, but Paper Rex is a team that you know uh, thrives in that uh, in those very forced encounter situations. And we saw that when they uh, when they faced off against their opponents, uh, Fancy United Esports, the other day. That Forsaken and Jing would just always love to go for that challenge, to go for that aggression and get that aggressive map control. And speaking of which, they're the ones that are actually initiating the fight here as they charge right out, using the relay bolt of Forsaken alongside Jing to kind of help him out push further. If he takes damage, Jing can always just refrag or even heal if need be. Eeyore, always a good shot, but... Oh, actually he is a good shot, but only good for the one. Yeah, so if he's the rat sea demon on that... Uh, on the usual aspect, right now he's Watch the Rath Speed Demon. But as of yet, guys, the, the round isn't over yet. There's a big scoreboard in the way, but we'll do our best to call the action. And Asterisk right now, able to get the bow down onto the Vi. Spike is in his head, he's picked up a Spectre, but Geekaboo Mind Freak sees you. And there you have it now. It's the right overlay and the right peak for Paper Rex. Two to zero, but you can see that there's a lot of initiation courtesy of Paper Rex, Forsaken will run at you, Enkai will set something up, and Jing is there for the heals, for the slow orb, if need be. It's already a triumvirate, looking to triumph here for Paper One enemy ah. remaining. Now it's gonna be the buy round for, uh, first esports here. I think everything that Paper Rex have just done is just, again, that forward map control that we saw them uh, have, have utilized when they went against, uh, Fancy United. We are seeing a different composition to that. But I think the mentality is still the same. Ben Kai, uh, how? What? That's a good spot. Where did he do that? Where did he throw it out? Where did it come from? Yeah. That's a, that's an interesting angle. I'd love to see where he actually threw it, and then I'll try to use it in lander. <laughs> thank you, Ben Kai. Thank, thank I saw you, you the other day Pro online tips. with like four other people. Uh, Who were you no, playing no, with, Dex? Who were you playing uh, with, huh? Huh? I was actually playing. Oh, so funny story. As Eeyore and Benkai do get the takedown. Benkai, they're getting three. I'm so sorry afterwards because Paper Rex is already finishing up the round, and there you go. Speedily done. And it's interesting because first, I didn't even have the buys for the third round. It's three already in a row for Paper Rex. Mm -hmm. But just to wrap up my story, I, I was waiting for the Niles boys to be ready to go out, and I ended up playing Valorant. Yeah. And yeah, I, I was terrible because I haven't played in so long. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. the invite, by the way. TFTI. Oh. Oh. There. <laughs> you were asleep already. What do you mean? What? I, I asked you. No. You know, you didn't you know the ask two words I always all. ask you. What? I didn't ask at all. I'm pretty sure I would have. I asked you. You know that the It is a I rare occurrence like, online. No. Like. Uh, oh, the Valorant. You know what? I'll invite you to the other thing. All right. Online. Flash out? Well, let's invite ourselves back to the game. Fame was there. Good start. First job. Yeah, they are actually using their numbers now, thinking that, again, it's players of Paper Rex that would love to always go for that advantageous push out. Person that they're like, screw this, we're just gonna go in and charge out. It works out in their favor. A couple are gonna be stuck onto the side. Mind Freak still somewhere on A, but there it is. Famous finds him. And the Vi, well, left to his own devices. 
as he will just be equipped with the sheriff as well as that headhunter. He can try to interchange between these. Very strong if he can hit those initial one taps. But his opponent is plenty, and their angles multitude or multiple. <laughs> Multitudes, layers of layers of sheriff gameplay, perhaps. But the headhunter now with the first find onto Famous. In behind, we are making noise, forcing the Vi to look there. And Rose 5 will take advantage of that fact and then get the takedown. So I think these rounds kind of formality in all honesty, as right. We saw mm -hmm. the rush on downs, we saw Paper Rex taking the initiative, and this time we see the Persija finally picking up the One guns. And you can see the first answer they have for these initial plays with Paper Rex. They just heavily stacked that dish just to deal here. with the push of Paper Rex. Forsaken, he's an amazing player. But you know, the 1v5, I don't think you're gonna be able to shoot yourself out of yeah. that one. So this is the point now where the game really starts. Paper X will have the buys. First, Jeff finally puts the stop to the initial antics that Paper X is playing. And we're gonna be expecting more of a more, I'd say, usual defense here from the side of Paper X. But since they got the kills a while ago, it's already the tour de force here for the buy. Forsaken just wanted to destroy that uh, tidbit of utility. Dubai, he does get blotted in terms of vision, but Eeyore still wanting to force the issue here. Doesn't really rotate back, and look at Famous. This might put Dubai in a really cheeky spot if nobody's actually going to help him out. And he hits the shot. Eeyore does, Dubai does not. And here we go, they start chiming right in as the Orbital Strike, even allowing the rest of the attackers to, to just keep pushing. Forsaken, though, able to anchor just for a teeny tiny bit as he does get the trade-off. Spike will get planted, and Paper Rex... How many do we have? Three versus four as they try to retake the site. Yeah, Neural Threat forcing Forsaken's hand. And also, he tried to use the fast lane for the cover. But it's Persage now on site and ready to frag out. Mind Free caught out here by Flinch. Really famous in Flinch. This is a strong connective duo here for the side of Persage. They want to win this against Paper Rex. You have to see these two guys pop off, especially as they have improved. And we're seeing a bit of the scrap here already, as right. Paper Rex willing to fight very early on. The Vida punish, you talked about the cheeky angles Persija has. And I think one of the strengths they are going to have here on the attacking side is if they can exploit that Paper Rex who wants to go for a quick duel at the start, the double up on the angles is something PSJ can work on. And let's not forget, they're running that Brimstone here. So expect a lot of speed also for some of these peaks, but Eeyore and I believe Aster's right on the Persija roster coming in from the Boom side. We've seen Boom a while ago make it to the playoffs. They have this different style. But I noticed from Persija that they also have a completely contrasting outlook to the game mm -hmm. compared to Boom Esports. So that might be the reason why, you know, they have their own roster right now. They came in as BWL, picked up by such an illustrious football organization. The game is afoot, and Dubai is not going to give up with the sniping. He has the up in hand towards that B site. Very quick dash there to utilize for Forsaken. Really wants to get that initial little push. And I do really like this from PSJ. A lot of the things that people just, uh, when they play, you know, from a normal perspective or normal standpoint, this fracture map is they don't really utilize the long zip line. But it allows you for so much control because it gives you that access to dish as well as arcade pushes. You know, where uh, some people might just go to underground, but that takes so much time. And with this one, it does give also Persija the yeah. understanding that there is so much more on dish. And it is actually difficult to push out of dish. It's more of a supplementary angle. But if you want to use all of your numbers, it's way, way better to actually just keep charging out onto A main. That being said, though, uh, okay, these flashes are from are from Rosify. I thought it was actually from Benkai, but I was looking at the minimap, he was nowhere near there. So Team Flash is abound, but Peeper X are here to fight. Eeyore is already knocked off. The stun not really connecting. And Forsaken smells blood in the water, keeps charging right in. And Persija, they found themselves in a very, very sticky situation with two members onto the site, one coming in from the flank. It could work out, and it seemingly can, as Asters and Famous take kills apiece. Yeah, single file though, dangerous, but right now the shooting them the way out of this one as Flinch finds Mind Freak. Benkai now all alone. Aftershock to try and flush out the push there from the raise. Looking for us at the 1v1 versus Flinch, but he just doesn't. Plays his namesake. Steadfast on the tower. It's Persija 
was able to get their goal towards that A site. And I personally think it is a gamble to go for the single file, but it's really just to try and stop any of these antics from Forsaken. But Forsaken, the adjustment there, go through the door, get the flak on. Person just didn't have such a stellar hold on the site itself. This would have been another Paper Rex victory. But you can see already the rostering that the Persija roster has just in these aim duels just as soon as they've taken those sites and simplified the angles of attack there from the opposition that's where they thrive and i think when there are teams that try to keep parity with that that's where the problem entails we saw it in the matchup versus bonkers we might see it right now if paper x doesn't adjust in time yeah that was a, one of the issues that we've uh uh, kind of encountered when Persuja, as you mentioned, was fighting against Bonkers on Haven, is this they couldn't really match up to the defense of Bonkers at some point with RDW being at the um, at the aggressive helm on his, I believe I was playing a chamber at that point. Uh, but this time, I think it's going to be a different case here, Dax. Even though it is a back and forth uh, thing, this first half, I think, still favors Persuja a lot more because of, again, how the layout of Fracture just allows them to be more creative and really have to force the defenders to use their initial utility and then some, right? Where in some maps, you don't really have to overcommit utility. In Fracture, you actually have to do so or else, uh, again, avenues of attack are going to be pretty abound. That being said, Paper X do know about this and immediately you see that they rotated Ben, uh, yeah, the buy all the way through the A site just so he can have his traps there to stop them from coming right in. Jing, though, he's got the new nice boost spot, but uh, double down too long on it as famous finds him in turn yeah nice wall to get the first kill but first you now navigating through the viper's pit and pure does he avoid the efforts there of the viper forsaken tries to use the overdrive but doesn't work out and Percy just so quickly getting to take that famous actually finding mind break along the way and Percy the esports the single stack setup interesting but it's working you also notice that they do put eeyore to try and leave a tripwire on a certain angle as much as possible yeah there's a possibility for the lurk for the cypher but also just in case they want to understand if paper rex is pushing on the other side that might be the signal that they can go on with for a second using that overdrive as you mentioned as well uh i'm not really yeah, the biggest fan of that because uh, me and Raph were talking about this, like, how effective is, you know, the overdrive compared to the blade storm? It's actually really effective, but it's, but it's good if you have low HP opponents, because it allows you to reset faster. Whereas the blades, you know, if you're a crack shot, you hit those heads, it's good because it's one shot, one kill. But for the overdrive, it's 22 tick per, uh, damage per tick, which means that if your opponent is like 150 HP, it gives you like a solid maybe one one and a half, maybe two and a half seconds that you can still react and you know these pros will not uh, miss a beat to make that happen. Yeah, and I, I'm just not a big fan personally in terms of this high tier gameplay, but you mentioned for the cleanup, yes, it's good. Right now, people Rex, they're gonna need more than a mob to try and win this round. Flinch right now with the blades are looking for position. Nice blind though, courtesy of Ben Kai, smoothing his position. Famous instead with the takedown, Jay again with the boost. Blades right now do come on out, but awkwardly there. Flinch runs on the blades, and he can't get the takedown. Ben Kai though with the defuse, and they do get the kill in time here from Persija. That was so close though, the distraction was through from Paper X, and they could have stolen that away in an eco state. Oh, so close. So we've seen Ben Kai not shy away from uh, retaking sites and ghosting the spike. It's the kind of ghosting that you want to be able to do. Right? Or actually, no, that's Ninja Fuse, what I was thinking. <laughs> Hello? Asteroid Ghoster? No. Oh, that, oh, that's why you've been like this recently. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. You're exposing yourself to the world stage there, my friend. But oh, no. that could have been another moment. You know, flashbacks that of that works. fancy United game. Just the way it ended with a whimper rather than a roar. Because Benke just says, you know, I'm just, just going to defuse this and, and we're done. But the guns now are out here for Paper Rex. You can see they're anticipating more of the push of Persija, but from the underpass, we feel the ground break for Rose by Do it in five fights in time. In the corner, he's just hiding. He's just patient. Jim will get the first, but it's timing perfected there by Mind Freak, and he will blow our minds yet again with the play. Two from the Viper as he hides in the corner. Too late for Rose to go for the aftershock, and Paper Rex 
able to stay a step ahead of first ja in that round. It was unfortunate because PSJ, they used the Rolling Thunder down below. So Rosify wasn't in position for that aftershock. And you can see how much of an impact this corner was for Mind Free. That is so cheeky. Like, really, Spike really cheeky down, that he was able to, uh, to do that. One Just stay remains. inside his own wall and not even a batted eyelash from first just like wait that's kind of a weird wall what's happening here do we need to check it or something to be fair though tower control is a must here. but yeah that was some really good stuff there divide just putting out the traps once again first you're not making any noise whatsoever though they can maybe cloud burst it there it is, but it's only going to allow them for just a little bit, a few seconds, but Forsaken, what was that? He just charges right in. It almost seemed to be a good exchange if Benkai could have gotten more than just the one kill, but it is incredibly awkward. Divai, though, has pushed himself all the way out. I wonder if he does have a TP or something. No, he's committed to the push, and he will get traded off. Jing does have the res ready. If he can find at least one teammate onto Sands, they will be able to bring this back into the three versus three. And there you have it. Benkai also has his rolling thunder. Can use that ultimate to check out the rest of the Scyther or make easy the retake on that A site. There's only one outside of it. Here comes Jing. Oh, they still are so ready for that. And Paper Rex don't even know what hit him. They thought they had what they what it took, but not even close. Yeah, nice stack there from Perisic. Uh, overall, though, feels like more of a misplay there from Paper Rex. Did they think that Perisic was further than that? Because this was so awkward. That's right, this is what I'm going to say. If that was a jet on Forsaken, he would be ready to shoot. He wouldn't be tempted to go for the high gear. And I think that's something awkward about the Neon. If you can't assess their exact position, and you run right into them, even if you try to slide on away, you can still get trapped by a squad like Perisic. And as soon as that happens, they got that side. It would have been an incredible play already. They were anticipating that Cloudburst on the trademark just okay. because they had that stack ready over onto the sands down below in ropes by the door itself. But the case in point now, Persija is in the lead. That double stack by the staircase, effective enough to surprise Paper Rex despite <laughs> that rolling thunder. And this time right now, it's a drop, applying the pressure. We get the shock ball for Forsaken to try and get the contestants on. Fast lane is there to navigate through to the other side, give them that kind of cover. But Famous went for the showstopper, and it's plays instead, getting to take that Forsaken though with the Guardian okay. gameplay. Three already here for the side for Persija. It is fast bracked all around for this matchup. Jing and Mind Freak have to retreat a little bit, but the neural death will expose their positions. And they only have the pistols anyway. Might as well fight till they die. Flinch now. No flinching whatsoever. Three here for the Jet. Eeyore is his name. And it's seven to four for Persija Esports. Last round. Clean in stuff the from Persija. Again, they just love to go for these four, five man pushes. And even though Forsaken threw everything he had just to try to delay them, relay bolts, uh, fast lane, everything, it still was not enough here, Dax. The ability for Persija to utilize what they have is really incredible. And one of the uh, players that have really allowed this to happen is right there uh, fourth in line for Persija famous eight assists on this raise all the nations he's been throwing out have been really really effective to just uh, let things happen for the Persija roster With all that though this next round comes in Forsaken already finding one and it's like oh no I got stunned Forsaken's gonna get me and he gets knocked off but Forsaken here I'm expecting that B main push. Nobody was holding it. And Jing gonna try to hold again the angle with the wall. They've heard it, they know it, but they don't really have any control in arcade, but it still works as Jing incapacitates two players. The first job, but flinch. All right, he stepped up to the plate, but he'll have to do a little bit more than that to open up the site. There you go, can't even close that lid and close the chapter through this first half. This is five to seven. Persija with the lead, but Paper Rex able to get that recovery in the last round. It's a little interesting because first it was the mistake of Paper Rex investing way too much on their push. It's good enough for the pickoff, but since it's fracture, you can still get flat. And it was a great effort there from the side of Asterisk and Co. to actually push on forward. What happens though in response is you're expecting that arc and take to happen from Persija, right? And it's already the same boost wall over and over again for Jing. But since he has that tactical advantage, Persia just peeking from the angle that's expected, 
<laughs> then for me, for X, I'm like, okay, the single file gameplay, that's going to be working on out for us instead. And as soon as that mm -hmm. happens, it's just so clean for Paper Rex. This game, it has to be absolutely high tempo. This is such a good matchup in a way to compare to the other one because these guys are just here to frag out, here to go for those initial plays, get the pickoffs, and then either work from there or most likely just keep that advantage, push it even more so, and wipe out the opposition. That's the way Percy Joe won against the likes of Bunkers. That's how Paper Rex won against Fancy United barring that last round and this is this is really what APAC is all about from what we've seen I think we've talked a lot about the evolution of some styles here and there but raw aim raw game that's what I'm expecting right now but some grid some really smart setups for both sides I do have to say yeah especially for uh, for Persija again with how cleanly they've taken a lot of these sites uh, that's really the difficulty I think for Fracture is that the philosophy of this particular map compared to any other is like, uh, for, for let's like compare it to like Haven, right? Where Haven, you can actually be on the site and still be able to fight. But here in Fracture, you can do that, but the percentage of you actually surviving is not really a lot. You can say that, but that's right, I experienced it in my rank game. I can just hold the site, and it's really different when, <laughs> when. Utility is well utilized. There's just nothing that leaves it to the imagination. For B, at least you can fight because tower Come is a place where attackers have to really push in. But for A side itself, it's really not that difficult to there. flush defenders out. Speaking of which, though, round of this pistol starts. Jing is holding on. Forsaken. Oh, he's been snuffed out and he's actually taking some fatal damage. The rest of his teammates now charging into the B side itself. They will be able to hunker down as dust settles as the retake. Uh, happens here, Dax. The four versus four will ensue. Now listen to the floor, though, because that's a cipher in the brimstone right under Forsaken. But to no surprise, we get the scrappy duels. And you mentioned it. It's no man's land if you stay on site. Might as well make a play later on. But the vibe with the drop down catches out Rose by off guard. Peach does though to bring the damage. Head on the right now, still ready. But it's Eeyore actually with a backstab there to get that kill. Mind freak though. Finds famous in response. Asterisk with a defuse. But the volley, it lands right in front of the staircase. Someone needs to push it for Paper Rex. Asterisk, he's sticking it. And throws do not fake. Paper Rex, they get a taste of their own medicine instead. And what a clutch from Asterisk. I was worried about the volley, but apparently it's far enough in time and in tune to protect him at last. That was amazing. I, I, you're absolutely right. There's nothing that you can really do other than just hope that their pop shots through the smoke was enough but their pistols not as effective as automatic weapons would have been but man the the nerve the steely nerves here of aster is just to kind of commit to the defuse you got to commend this man because he was up against paper rex that don't really shy away from that fight that being said paper rex uh not really a good start especially in the second half they really needed to get things started with that pistol but as it gets denied from their hands, they will have to back away. But go, go, I go. Uh, reserve myself. They actually go for the force buy. Yeah. Paper Rex, they want to will themselves to that victory. Gotta say, though, that was just such great heads up play from Asterisk. And it's really that nuance that will give these teams these victories. Because initially, I was like, okay, you want to shoot into the corner to prevent them from coming through. But since Paper Rex was far enough anyway, right? They could have just jumped through and actually caught, catch out the brimstone there. So, yeah, this, this is why these guys approach these guys want to play this aggression because they know that they can make plays from themselves. Good start here for Paper Rex. If they're going to go for the force buy, that initial pick is just absolutely helpful. But Famous now blind all around, but Asterisk and Rose by do get a takedown. Mind Freak though on the board, and Paper Rex now will be on site. From is though, it's still PSJ fighting back. Famous now with the one. Mind Freak there gets the answer. And on site here, Rose by trying to get the angle, it will eventually break. The barrier orb. Where is the fight coming from? From the hallways there. Crossfire now being set by Paper X. Fault line, no connection. Nice tap from the buy. And here we go. Mind Freak playing the cunning game, the waiting game, and striking when the iron is hot and right. Six to eight Paper X. 
get back on the board here in the second half. I love that crossfire that they set up, not because it's just a crossfire, but I think one of the byproducts of it was you saw uh, Rosify charge up his fault line thinking that his opponent was going to be at default. He pops it up and doesn't hit Mind Freak. I think it was banking on the fact that Mind Freak was still at that initial spot that he planted the spike on, or well, yeah, um, that he threw out the snake bite, and it didn't really work for him. The slow push from PSJ. Uh, not really helping the case there for that retake and the bet here for Paper Rex really good because now that ruins the economy of PSJ and to be honest, I think it might even ruin the next round if I'm not mistaken in terms of the utility, especially if you lose your own buy round through a thrifty. It's really not a, um, a good look in terms of your creds. That being said, PSJ not losing any heart at all, actually go for the four stack on the A site. Yeah, and they're using some utilities right now. So you mentioned it can be more costly than expected. But Persija, it's all about the staff. But if you notice here on Fracture, Paper Rex really, really having a, such a high risk, high reward kind of playstyle as Mind Freak does get the takedown. I think it's why the matchup against Bleed in their local finals was that close in first place. Why they had to go for the comeback. Because these guys are trying to really push the limits of Fracture. And with Jacob Forsaken running all around getting the takedowns, that's pretty much expected. With this kind of gun advantage. Rose 5, that's too far for the shorty. 7 to 8. DRX now make it flawless. So it's a good, it was a good gamble, right? On the second round, even better now because they can build their bounds. And I'm a little concerned for Persija because they might be taken for a ride and thrown for a loop at this rate. Well, they still have a bit of wiggle room, or not really a bit, but one more wiggle room before Paper Rex, I feel like, has create, create themselves a really, really big uh, power move yeah. here. Uh, power play, excuse me. Persija, this is again what I was kind of wondering because Fracture, it, because again of how I mentioned the map philosophy is, how the layout of the map specifically allows attackers to just have more angles of attack. And if you have the proper setup, which you know per, uh, Paper Rex has, there really isn't anything that Persija can really do to stop them. And since Paper Rex have been coaxing uh, Famous to throw out those nades of him quite early, Forsaken just says, oh yeah, I'm going to be able to do this. Charges right out and uh, hello? Okay, he's just going to be charging hello. through everything here. <laughs> Even wants to pick up a weapon, but that's a little bit lighthearted from him. Jing boosts himself up onto spawn, but somehow, some way, Eeyore spotted out the double kill and allows himself to get through. And even though he wants to get a weapon here, or maybe even reposition, maybe if, I, mean, I think even use I his ultimate, he will get denied. Still plenty of time for the two remaining members. No, the one remaining member of the buy to just rotate back onto the B side. The flinch has already rotated himself. That's gonna be the knockout. Persija, somehow, some way, find another round against Paper X. That's right. I saw Forsaken play at the start of that one, and I went back to 2017 and 2018. <laughs> this was not, that was not tactical FPS movement, mind you. Did you see how quick this was though? And you mentioned it, the paint was being baited on out, slides on in, and he's running and gunning towards his opposition. It's a chance also for Jing. That's the beauty of the efforts of Forsaken and Jing together. They play off each other so well, they understand that sync. But this is even better by Persija, and big kudos to Eeyore. He wasn't phased by everything happening on that A site. He still kept an eye out on B anyway, since it wasn't the full commit that they noticed from Paper X. Just because of that, they were rewarded by the hold, and they still win out the round. So flashy plays are good and all. We still need to make sure that Spike is planted firmly, and for Paper X, that's a lesson learned. PSJ in the meantime, ready with two ults. Mm. They can wait for for this for as long as they can. And as you mentioned, those two ults, one of them being the Orbital Strike, it's going to be a huge, huge undertaking here for Paper X to get the site early, get the plant in, and maybe even fake the plant if need be, because that's going to allow Asterisk again to try to make things uh, you know more spicy for them. The peek out from Love Flinch, he's been spotted already. Does have the Cloud Burst to get through. Spotted through that little crack in the wall, in the smoke. And this allows Paper Rex to get free control of the A site. That being said, again, Orbital Strike is not far behind. They spot it, they try to run away. Who's gonna die? Nobody. All right, they still have time to plant the spike in through this uh, Viper Spit. Yeah, Mike, finding always these corners to hide in. 
just understanding where to set oh, up famous. on the site itself. But famous from above, apparently, tries to put the star here on this boardwalk. The Rose Fly now with a takedown off the second bad guy. I need two on the inside, and while Viper gets tossed on over, Rosify will take advantage, make the Viper fly, and it will die. First now, back onto the 2v1, the fight is there for the takedown, but Eeyore again, in these tense scenarios, he is just oh so reliable, but what the play from Rosify, apparently that's how you counter the Viper spit here on the site, that's right. I'm not gonna lie, I, I really felt that Paper X should have won that round, but I was curious how Famous got the knock on Jing when he was boosted somewhere on top, maybe just a, a wild shoot through the, the Viper spin. Yeah, there it is. Oh no, it's because Jing was uh, helping out the plant on the spike. That's why he got knocked off. But that was a really, really quick uh, reaction time from Famous giving even more opportunities there. I also thought that the boot from Rosify would have allowed Mind Freak to survive. But since he actually dropped back into his own ultimate, only showing his legs, you want uh, to play? it was very Let's easy for Rose if I just kind of screw him over. That being said, Forsaken now trying to at least close the distance here. Does have a frenzy. This could be a really good utility to utilize. But PSJ, as well as Asterisk, is trying to aggress. Oh, he got stunned. He's getting stabbed. The finger blaster is too strong for him Forsaken as he now allows the rest of his team to come into the A site. They were not really low on money, but... The change of a pace here from Paper Rex opened thing, uh, things up beautifully on A. Yeah, entertainment indeed. It's forsaken there, getting the stun for himself, <laughs> setting it up. And that is the beauty of the Neon Utility. Spikes planted. First of all, they can't even find any frags, so they look back on that. But you see, the hunt is on from Paper Rex. They still want to wipe the floor. The first of all, opposition. It goes by now. As well as they are hiding into the corner. It's got to be a vital, vital pinch. Good tag though. On to the vice, seeing him coming. Ben, I might be seen here as well, but the setup is getting ready. It's the chamber making the noise. Shot does come, but ER with a takedown. Now the fault line doesn't really get much, but where is Forsaken in all of this from the tower? This should be around for Paper X. Rose of Five, though, still defending more of these exits. And ER on the board. This is costly right now for Paper X. Rose of Five running on the way. The PRX can't even catch him now. 8 to 10, but did they need to lose that many lives here for Paper X? I'm pretty sure no. Because PSJ would have been able to purchase weapons regardless. And you already know the Paper X is uh, a little bit on the weaker end of that buy spectrum. Uh, all that being said, though, still I, I, I play a pretty clean round here for Paper X. They kind of utilize, or not really kind of, but they really did utilize the. Um, I can't gonna keep Here. calling it finger blaster. The uh, the overdrive oh, forsaken. Yeah, yeah. Just to kind of you know, uh, they did it in such a way that the overdrive actually become became a lethal ultimate than just a um, you know a minor hindrance. It works. I'm out. He's running so fast, might as well pop the ult and you can see it here again. The fast lane executes to just get onto the site. The problem is though, he's using the slide for these entries. Not gonna have that anytime soon. But bolts do come. The spike is planted one more time. Flinch now proving the better ultimate there. With a blade storm. Bentai with the trade, and he's been consistent with the shots here so far. After shot the flinching in the bad spot, but he's still able to get the takedown. Now he's flicking forward oh here. They're even oh by famous! It's a shooting range here for Jing! The things do come! And the 3k! This is absolutely magnificent from Paper Rex. Take a bow, Jing! Because you were center stage and you did not disappoint. <laughs> he like took forever to take the famous. He's like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do this any further. No, I'm picking someone he else. spots out Eeyore, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then he gets look at the recent battle of the famous right. Goes to ER and boom. even as the wall sets up. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just the raw talent of the Paper X, let's be real. What Paper Rex can do to you, what they're willing to fight, the absolute talent of really one of the most diverse rosters in the APAC scene. This is just how strong they can be. And the fact that Person is the one in the lead punishing these kind of plays time after time speaks of how impressive Persija is also but they need a timeout after seeing what Jing just did to them need that bit of a breather here and that was just hella strong I wonder what the adjustment is now for Persija because 
more times than not, they've actually just allowed the A side to be taken. And as you mentioned, the Forsaken feels like a, a speed demon incarnated, right? But mm -hmm. it has really allowed, I think, Paper Rex, this, the, the quickness that they want to take, especially on that A site. And it has worked for about a good two, maybe even three rounds. That being said, Persija want to figure things out. I think they should have some ultimates as well coming into this uh, particular round, especially probably the Showstopper. That's going to be a really huge one if they do have it. But uh, now looking into it, not really. Those, they don't have it. I think it's a tough ask mm. for Persija. If you think about it, right, Forsaken is going to be very slippery and going for that initial contact might yeah. be trouble because of his erratic movement. But giving up the sights, it's not going to be that effective. And Forsaken, of course, you know his name, you know his game, and you know his aim. Flinch already going to down as they're trying to shoot on the way. What a slide, though! He just comes into frame and famous! It's like his moment in life it was captured by a picture because that's the only still image he gets for the round. And this is why you don't want to go for that first contact against Forsaken. I'm thinking for Persigen instead. They look for the frags on Cage players like Ben Kai, Mind Freak, and Divide who can control the battlefield after the space that is given there by Forsaken and Jing. So Waldo will be set on up to try and fade out destroyed. the extra peak just in case. Divide though, he still wants to push this anyway. But you can see here for Paper Rex, the transit towards the A site is clear. And they're headed out already again. Device is now going to be pinching left. in, wanting the attention of Eeyore there, but might not need to fully commit into this one. Just to give the pressure that he's already showed himself out. And he can go back if need be. But that being said, oh my gosh, they actually rotated all the way. And it screwed up what Eeyore wanted to do. He was like thinking, what is going to happen? It, is it really going to be the, the B site? Is it going to be A? Well, regardless, the speed at which uh, Paper Rex can actually rotate back and forth is faster than what Persija can actually react to because of the lesser players that they do have on to play. This puts them in a, uh, in a deficit, in a really confused state as well. And that 10 to 10 is now here. Have you ever seen those like infographics of traffic and like the circles keep moving on around oh, to show what they're gonna take? That's right, you know that, you know, so I can't yeah, yeah, visualize yeah. it. It's, that's how Paper Rex moves. They're just running around this map, showing us all the paths that they can go through in the first place. And the high octane speed of Forsaken. It's risky. You can see he's just been dying again and again and again. But when he gets the impact, then it is quite not over. He's forced to begin with. Not this time, though, as Eeyore is right in front of him while he was ill prepared. But lucky for him, Jing is there ready to prop him back up. And keep Rex now going for that B site. I like this better though for PRX that they're actually committing onto the sites that Forsaken opens remaining. up for them rather than trying to be cheeky because players like Eeyore can screw them over. Since they have the reinforcements right now, you have Jing there, able to get a classic in time and survive the bullets from Flinch. 11 to 10, and I think Percy just getting taken for a ride here by Paper Rex. Forsaken is like 12 kills, but honestly it doesn't matter because <sighs> He has teammates that will always be there to refrag him, and I love this um, this style, this kind of play of info gathering, where you use your own teammate to actually do something, right? And it's not, yeah, it's not as messy as I think a jet does, because I think if jet actually tries to initiate, the tailwind becomes a weird gap tool, or. Uh, a tool that kind of just makes it far, uh, makes it so that your teammates are farther away from you, so they might not be able to trade you efficiently. But because go, go, go. Neon just sprints and uh, just mini dashes, it makes it easier, at least for Paper X, to follow <laughs> up. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. That's a good point because you you can follow the path of the Neon, but not that path because it shoots you in the face. But you're playing the Jets. There's that sudden, I'd say, translocation that might not be available for any of the other players. But this is a big pickoff here by Persija because before Forsaken even makes that space, they already get the takedown. But Benkai, where did you even come from again? Goes through the doors, through the ropes. Takes control of that high ground for now. Speaking of the high ground here, Flinch wants to peek, but the Vi has his own operator and has Flinch's number. Even without the Neon space, it's still Paper Rex getting the frags anyway. And was, oh, I can't even peek this thanks to the snake fight. Paper Rex now set things up. A little bit though of the utilities from the breach. But the case in point here, 
a neon comp like this wouldn't work if you don't have absolute thrust on the frag potential of your teammates. You have players here for Paper Rex to do so. But the one man who has been fragging out like crazy Ching is caught out there by Eeyore instead. Nice intel here for Person Jido. Flushing out Paper Rex and their initial locations, but the Vi, he just does not let three already. Ben Kai watching the flank. And this is it, map point for Paper Rex. But the stats don't lie. I'm waiting for the scoreboard to show my point. Look at Jing, and look at the vibe. 23 and 20, and who has this many assists? The Sage. Jing is just doing everything also with the space that Forsaken is giving him. Who, uh, who says you can't be a top fragger as a secondary? You definitely can, especially with how Paper Rex have been utilizing this specific uh, roster, this specific agent uh, lineup for them. It really is super good. And look at that, they also have these setups right there. Forsaken as he spots out everything, he's just charging through. And I don't even know if they know this already at the spawn, in which he is. And there it is, the Finger Blasters. Rosify is in no man's land, but Forsaken tries to bite off more than he can chew, and he's the one that got bit off. That being said, though, Paper Rex, they're already running all the way through the A site. Flinch gonna be on the contact, and he almost spots out Mind Freak on that rotation. Not fast enough, not quick enough. But now, they've activated the ultimates. No Molly to separate the rest of the squad, but at least they are making it so that they can delay uh, everyone even playing. further, especially Let's with play. Jing popping out his uh, his slow warp there. Even though that was a good Rolling Thunder, the follow-through from PSJ, just a bit too lacking. Oh, Eeyore, he's stunned. He is so screwed when he comes out here. Days now. Oh my god, no! Oh, and pray for Rex. This <laughs> is it. Red so card so given. The win. first day esports says pay for Rex. Will start running and running and running to this victory. 13 to 10. Rex now scattered around the map, vying for control, but Persija, they're going spelunking here, ass right into the caves they go. Benkai's already been spotted up. Well, good enough that he can't get the trade. They spotted at least two coming through. The buy will be holding the lurk as the rest of his teammates now doing the assault on B. Rosify spots out the TP. It has to, actually breaks it, so the buy here is going to have to try to run away the old-fashioned way, and that is just to rotate back. He's caught Rock in the hard place, but maybe he's quick enough to actually hit a couple of shots here. But he does soften up the blow, as the rest of the remaining members now of Persija are actually incredibly low. Forsaken already on the case, challenging, and oh boy, that fadeaway is a beauty, as Rosify gets the mystified. There on B main, and Paper Rex claimed the pistol. Yeah, not even needing the dig there from Jing. 1-0 for Paper Rex and was a good call. Honestly, for Persia, to... they noticed the dart was flying up in the air. They actually pushed it over. But since Paper Rex is still that lethal anyway, they find remain. the frags from afar. They are able to chip away at those HP values. And since Paper Rex pushed onto B side for free with ghosts in hand, that's enough firepower there to just tap 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 and take down the opposition. So it's the same kind of case. Persija will want the brawl. Paper X will be happy to have that dance. The zero point right now. Up close to personal just to see if anyone's wrapping around the corner here for Persija. You can see the top is right now set up for the retake already, blocking the thing for their vision towards the site and towards where the spike can get planted. Aldron though, searching for a target, might be here, vying for that hole control, and famous, he wasn't ready, but at least Flinch is right behind him for the trade. Jing though, the better firepower with the Bulldog, barking at the opposition. ERX now, able to navigate through to the site itself. Forsaken with the Brawl Astros there, fighting on back, 1v2 right now, classic though in hand, the free gun. Keeping the fatalities on, and Ben Kai though, that is just nicely done, spots the Sova. A win here for Paper Rex, but costly actually, courtesy of Persija. Uh, I don't know if it's like incredibly oh. costly because it seems like Paper Rex still had like their ghosts from the last round. Maybe just, uh, maybe just was it Dubai and Benkai that actually bought up on like SMGs and even the Bulldog. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to the purchase, but that it kind of felt that way. That being said, though, that would mean that. Paper X should be able to buy into the aggressive rifles now. And yeah, you already see Forsaken 50 armor. There it is. And the death on Jing has actually allowed him to get that suppress of his. Forsaken, though, a little bit awkward on the road state. Now they're caught rocking a hard place. 
Mindfreak is going to have to go above and beyond to hit these nasty shots. And he does open things up. Coming from the backstab will be uh, Flinch. And now Benkai Last left to try to go dunk. for the clutch. I think he was able to spot out the opponent coming in from B main. Yeah, I guess he was. But yeah. still late. Uh, Persija. Man, the scrap is real. And you were right there, Asurai. Think about that. They did that. They'd get that bulldog, they had the arsenal, but now it's all down to the ground. And what happens here is when you go for those ultimate plays, but you're still stuck in your traps, then it's immediately that kind of momentum that falls apart because you're expecting the suppress to encompass that site as much as possible. Something also, since Paper X went for the rushdown, they gave up a lot of that mid control to Persija. And since no one was watching the tunnel, since they couldn't get the pulses that they wanted to encompass that site, they just free frags from that angle. So Persija again, it's it's been the three rounds of fighting. And I think if we keep this series going, Asurai, we will just say the words fight forever because this is what this series is all about. See, there's a pick into a pick, peeking it out, famous from afar, catching the Vi who just wanted to get towards that B site. But as the holes now, can be navigated here by Jing. It's Aster is actually backing on away. Keep an eye out though on Flinch. It's a blade storm in hand. Same case forces taken. So maybe these jets can clash in the air. The clouds right now though have given up that space and well, people Rex remaining. Just into the corners and these nooks and crannies. Persija not knowing what hit them till it's too late. And the confidence, of course, for Jing. To just pinch out asterisk, no escape in the arches. It's three to one. So smart from Jing just to wait a tad bit longer on Hall since Forsaken and his teammates have started uh, breaking through on B. He could have gone for the super long rotate and he would have had so much value from that. And there it was that easy kill onto Rosify and just making sure that asterisk can't even make anything uh, happen. Can even can't even do any transactions as he tries to come out through uh, McDonald's. Um, now, there should be no more money for Persija here, if now, if uh, I count the cards right, and it yeah, is. Famous just got caught, he was just like, trying to here. jump up, and then just, nope, not gonna happen. Position here from Eeyore, but the rest of Paper Rex now have hunkered and are looking to go for that 8 push. Rosify, kind of playing a bit cheeky there. The Paper Rex, they know to check the corners, they know to play the time, because now, they have a minute left to play around their opponents and asterisk. <gasps> oh, this is gonna be huge. Oh, no. oh this not. is an opportunity. He goes the for the shot first off to take and into Benkai. Okay. Dash on Atto from Forsaken realizing the situation. Great action there from the Jets. But Paper Rex suffering losses they did not expect. And you can see the adjustment here from Paper Rex. They're more likely now to regroup, knowing that Persija will be pushing the limits of Paper Rex. They just lost out there. Asterisk, what a cheeky player with the Sova. And many times you'd be just so tempted, right? The knife, the Sova playing with the Aldron understands the situation. Yeah, still with a ability here for Eeyore. And the Head Hunter will do its business. 1v1 right now, but Mind Freak from above finds backstab there onto Eeyore. And a perch used by Paper X. A few <laughs> calisthenics along the way. And it's 4 to 1 right now as PRX just keep on That's rolling. But first, just look, if it's not going to be costly on the economy. It at least is costly on the lives here for Persija. And they're building up their ultimates for it. They're gonna have that backup kind of setup. They're still making sure that Paper Rex has to be on their toes even in on eco estates. And it really goes to show that here for Persija. They will be impactful every single map round on a map play, like this. They have the play. angles that they work best with. And now they have the guns to utilize. Where is the ultimate use? Oh, that was the buy. All right, so he's gotten his ultimate up. Famous has already activated his seekers, so that's gonna delay the attackers just a, a teeny tiny bit. But again, oh no, they're not gonna know this. They're not gonna know at all. As the rest of the forces of person, they're like, oh no, we've been bamboozled, we've been hoodwinked, we've been fooled, we've been tricked, we've been disillusioned. Famous though, coming in very quick onto the swing. Jing, waiting onto the contact. But this is gonna be a full-blown retake for Persija. Although, again, Paper X, they do not have their smoker. 
And did you open you know, the source.com for the word break? But right now, we're opening things up for first just for the retake. It's a one for one, but then Divine for taking to get on the board. Famous is coming in from the main yet again. And he finds the tap onto Divine anyway. The Hunt is Fury, a big distraction. But Benkai will sacrifice the lives of his teammates now to get in position just for that spike plant in itself. Shock Dart 1, Shock Dart 2 gets the kill on the Famous. Aster still with the defuse. There's the tap nice. for Benkai yet again. And he's just watching here. First job, try all their might, but it's a clutch moment here for Ben Kai. He puts himself in the position all the time to make wonders happen, and it's five to one after the cheek against the paper race. Third. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment, man. I mean, he studied. He's learned the arts of geometry. And have used it to allow him to win the round. I mean, obviously, if he jiggle peeked that, the chance of success would have been maybe put down like single digits. But since he did have that lineup, and time was not of the essence for Percy, but he just had to commit to it, which is incredibly, incredibly tedious for Percy to just uh, deal with. Benkai, he's not just a handsome person. He's just not someone that wears bathrobes. He's someone that wears that bathrobes to school and uses math to win rounds. Okay, teacher, whatever you say, but now we get the two for two trade. As Persija will have the lesser buy, but no surprise, the frags do come. It's all about the brawl anyway. Famous though can't find his mark on Jing. Paper Rex already all over the default, but Rosify with the scrap. He's grabbing take onto that rifle. Now the drop down is there. The buy sees him coming, but Rosify will get the turn. Benkai here on the right hand side has the ankle, and come on, Benkai. Just giving him a chance already. Six to one. The big brain plays from Benkai, the movement again all around the map. In a clutch moments, it's also reliable. So clean for Mind Freak there. That last kill was a little bit uh, inconsistent, but still, he's uh, created that tempo. And Benkai, oh man, he's probably, where, where is he? He's seven kills right now. I thought it would be top bragging, but to be fair, it is a nice little spread for Paper Rex. Only the buy was is on this re receiving end of a beat down here in the negative KD. But doesn't matter. In terms of the rounds, it's just always better. Forsaken out and about. Flashes are already used right in front of him. There's already one, but Flinch, he's brought out the rifle. He's brought out the sniper. He really wants to take this B main control. And he's about to jiggle once again with Forsaken putting his back on his opponent. That is a no-no, Forsaken. He's now they've lost two already without uh, Bit of sweat and Persija and flinch. The risk pays off. Yeah, too ambitious there for Forsaken. Famous just putting his presence, scaring off Forsaken anyway. Flinch has just no fear whatsoever. It's a battle of two courageous teams, in all honesty. These guys just want to push each other to the limits, whatever they can get away with. Only problem for Persija, many of these rounds were almost rounds. Almost is not good enough to get that kind of scoreline. You can see for Paper Rex now. They are trying to make it to the site, but this is a lot more convincing from Purse J Esports. Famous with that kill. Finds the angle anyway from the tunnel. And I think it's one weakness right now for Paper Rex. The elbow tunnel area is looking a little 30 precarious seconds left. whenever they go for these B takes. It's a bit an angle that PSJ is able to work on. But here we have it. Benkai Devai. Together again, the classic. <laughs> Paper Rex Zoo, the crossfire. Come on, these guys have been playing for each other so long. These moments are defined by them. And Benkai still heating on up. Left. Famous finally cools him off to fight though with the shot. There's another round and he's running around because of it. Flinch gets hit the shot and it buys enough time for him to put that spike down. Paper Rex, how do you get away with these kind of things? I don't even know. But the buy now gives himself a chance here in a 1v3. Time taking as a tunnel now. We'll find turmoil to push here from Persija. Good glad we're still to blocking that vision. It should be enough ample time to try and go for the spike plant. The shot misses and asterisk is there. Still though, hearts beating as one. Persija though will win out the round. Get the second point here. Fact about the Vi, you know how a lot of pros have those really huge mouse pads, like 500 by 500 millimeters? The Vi yeah. is probably a quarter of that because of how fast his sensitivity is. Like if you've seen his mouse cam on his uh, on his streams, it's so small, but he'd be accurate. 
Still, though, I mean, not able to make waves here, but it's not he hasn't really been put in a position where he can really excel to be honest like it's it's always that three versus one two versus one where um angle really isn't in, in his favor but yeah just to kind of add there you know to uh insight on dubai that's interesting like i i kind of don't know how to follow it up it's like nice you know nice high sense he got there but instead let's, let's talk about the chambers here they haven't really found the impact that they would like you mentioned dubai he tries to have those angles Convert headhunters here and there, but in those kind of moments, he's just gonna be with the lawn down, and he doesn't have the cheeky capabilities of like a agent on the Sova with Ben Guide there to try and do something about it. And on the flip side, Eor is actually struggling. I was looking at him to be the one to perform, but since Paper Rex is just going for the overrun, Persija is also willing to fight that early on. We're not really seeing too much of the chamber value here in terms of the hold. He gets put in scrappy situations and wherein his teammates aren't really that there to help him out because they already went for the push. And case in point, look at this. Famous is right here in the middle looking to go for the surprise. Oh. It's not done. He's gonna kill onto the fight. Rose the fight also with the catch on the fight pick before second bed Kai to get kills of them on Famous though with the Seekers, One with the guy in light and chain right now. Caught for a loop. The Animal Kingdom going at him. Food chain is real, the food web is there. Ben Kai right now, able to feast on one, finds the second, make it three overall. And even after everything is said and done, it's a 1v1, but from afar, Flint screams from the cave, sees the opposition. Here by the beach, trying to relax, trying to get a little bit of a reprieve. But it's Persia again, able to duke it out. Not really a lot of time for Ben Kai to have reacted to that he got from Flinch, but famous. The arbiter of this round. Oh my goodness, he just that was so sick. He just held that pillar angle using utilities left, right, and center, and Paper X didn't even know what they uh, needed to do in that uh, in that encounter. But that last one, Ben comes like, oh no, it was at this moment he knew he messed up. <laughs> just a freeze frame, a zoom in, and he's like, oh no. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. You know, we've had some more, you know, slower pace, tactical kind of games. It's like we're back in 2021 here, Asurai, with this kind of series. Oh. And as we're in the freeze frame here, we will dash on the... Okay. Good start. Great start, actually. Ooh, Davai! There you go. Tiny mouse pad. Big swing. Player standing. Now we're just left with flinch. Spike planted. All right. Yeah, they know, they know where flinch is, but he's definitely not gonna hunt them down unless, maybe. Uh. All right. Well, they know where he is. He still has the dash, so he can uh, he can just keep doing this, tempering fate as it were. But Forsaken already prepared to actually go for the trade. Is he going to pick up the Operator? That's the question. Here. Seems like uh, we're still going to be fine. I'm not sure if anybody can hear me right now. Hopefully they can. Boy, I think we're having a bit of issues on the broadcasting side. Hopefully you guys are still fine there. Going to hold your hand for... Uh, for the rest of this. There you go. Dax is back. Uh, are, am I really? We'll, we'll find out. But let's get back to the action. And like, like first, we tried to go for the run. Right, still, still no the run, position. No you see the struggles it's right now on the economy. The hunt experience the call. Keep a Rex now. Who's that? Up to the person of Rosify. He goes down. With this kind of space, Keep Rex really to push the limits. Forsaken, though, turning up. Connor on to double doors. The vibe with the option. The blades are pounds, but Paper Rex still for the anyway. Oh, he's getting the distance as he's been asked for his team for him to pop off. And with Asterisk, the only one left. Updraft right now from the bridge. A quick little drop into a takedown. Three kills, four forsaken. Five last gas now as we're looking switch. to wrap up this first half. He has blades up and running. Not sure if there will still be that purchase power here for Persija Esports. Look it up, Forsaken again. 
Uh, I think the best way, because I was describing such a long description of how Forsaken does things, his spatial awareness is insane. I think that's the best way to just, you know, talk about how Forsaken does things. Is Yeah, his spatial awareness is incredible. Comparing him to like Onyx G's Manya, who I feel play. is all about the reactionary, is being overly aggressive. Forsaken uses that spatial awareness to full fruition. Went in a little bit too crazy there on A. As he still wants to dip his hands in this fight. Flitch does have the operator, so if he picks out, this might be a little bit risky for him. But Forsaken is just strafing left and right. It's done the damage to Jing as well as the Vi. But he can always pick up Jing if need be. Eeyore's picked up the operator as well. He's done some damage. Almost mind freak to explode, but he does get denied. And now we're in the one versus one famous. What a reaction. He gets it and gives Persija another round to fight with. Yeah, and you really just have to keep an eye on this guy. Famous has become one of the more renowned players from the Indonesian side, especially under this Persija roster. And the way that they're able to shut down Switching these sides. null command plays from Paper Rex has been at least a tenant for their hold. So swap onto the sides right now. Up on top, it's Blizzard Famous, no surprise, as they've been putting on the impact. They're the ones who are willing to push the onto A. But many a time, it has blown up in the face of Persia. This is where you kind of have to consider maybe you'd want to have some of these holds a little bit better to be more on the standard side with Chamber, with the Sova. But in those tense scenarios, it's a big reason why Persia is willing to play this game because the roster that they have right now, the reaction that they go alongside with either the sight lines or the Sova utilities, they're absolutely on point and it takes an absolute villager. In this case, it takes Paper Rex to punish the plays. So really, we're just getting two giant Gundams basically trying to kick each other. But for Paper Rex, they're the ones with the advantage because they kind of been doing this longer together. They have more of that renown right now. And players like Benkai, just out of nowhere, can pull rounds out of his hat, basically. He just is able to be that, uh, that strong pillar for Paper Rex, right? And it really does go to show. Hmm. Now we are taking that quick little mid mid game uh break here and it's not going to be persija on the attacking side honestly i think that persija just loves to be on the attacking more and more mm -hmm. so maybe the second half is going to be um more well utilized for them and with again famous and flinch being on agents that can go really aggressive this could be something that will help uh, persija bring a few rounds back and they only really need just four to equalize yeah, it's still a chance and the thing is, the story of this series has been almost rounds for Persija. They get close, it gets dicey, if Rex is just able to eat it out at the end. So there's always a chance, I feel. If any, if in another dimension, we probably have Persija in the lead. We'd probably have the, the play sometimes from Rose of and Asteris to get even more done. But as it stands now, it's Persija having to climb the lead, the mountain rather, the lead that is Paper Rex still very doable and you can see that the playbook is pretty similar paper rex also wanting to go for the push you have jing there to play off forsaken if maybe a zero point if you think forsaken is getting rushed right now as it stands though it's b site instead we have mind freak and the vi waiting for them if they play contact here and not really set up any flashes, Mind Freak might be a bit slow in actually throwing out the snake bite. Okay, the buy, never mind. This is gonna be very, very risky. They're already sold up by the trademark. And look at Coiled Viper. He strikes! And now there's only one player to remain. Rosify running for zero life, but Paper Rex, cool, calm, collected. They get the round as the announcer has mentioned. Flawless. I'll play a last array. <laughs> Sneak side. Sneak side. Whoa, whoa, wait. Asurai? Yes? What? <laughs> you trying to say something? Yeah, you know. Spike down, beat. Uh -huh. It's, it's, it's how you uh, fight, you know? Flawless. Different styles. Snake style. I, I, I think it's, uh, instead of a one versus many, it's a one versus one situation we're looking for, good sir. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't get this and I love it. The Paper Rex now 
They are going to be playing the aggressor here. Here we go again, though. The, we see from Paper Rex, they don't actually go for the investment, as you corrected a while ago. They have the single Bulldog, they have the Spectre. But since Persija is expecting this now, they not only go for the full eco, they do rely on ER to go for the shots, but famous with the find. This is what the class can do if given that free time. And Mind Freak now that has to be careful. Paper Rex, they've thrown in the bowl of chaos. They want these kind of scrappy rounds to happen. But sometimes, you're just gonna need a bit of that order. Persija here, looking to exploit Rosify from above. Does he even see Bentai? Yes, he does. Taps onto the shoulder. And these backstabs right now. It's a brotherhood of assassins here. Oh, from the side of Persija, beautiful scan into the takedown. And what is going on here for Paper Rex? It all falls apart now. As the Vi only has the Ghost and the Headhunter. The guns have been picked up here by Persija. Sealed around away. And this is why you don't turn your back. To person Joe, or give them a chance to be behind you. I guess it's also the greed of Paper X to just not buy proper uh, proper weapons on most of their players, just probably like the two. It, it, it does pay off because they're crack shots, but in the off chance that it doesn't, you really do see the the difficulties that the remaining players uh, kind of forego on, right? Where again, because Jing and Forsaken always are looking for that contact, they get slapped away and they're like, oh no, we, we don't have any more weapons. We can't pick up the weapons of these guys. And Paper Rex are like at a deficit. They're back to square one. That being said though, Forsaken, hero vandal. But this hero can only survive for as long. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yes. <laughs> Who's the villain here? here? Who's the bad guy in the story? These guys are just trying to win the game, man. <laughs> First and Jeff. They did win out in that round, put the correct in the tough spot. Now they will be looking to navigate towards B-side. Don't tell me that you think the Trailblazer is evil because this is a nice dog that's going to do its job. My free goal. Finding the taps and the brain blast what coming in from the Viper. Oh, yes, oh, oh, and they have a fort! The shots come and my freak celebrates a standing ovation here for Paper X as they win it out in thrifty fashion. No. Yes. What? First of all, already we're at a upward trajectory and then somehow Mind Freak activates. Look at it. Uh. And another uh, four piece. And he's just like freaking out on these shorts just because. <laughs> you were gonna call it out. Shorts is exposed. <laughs> hey man. This is why we don't stand up on broadcast, man. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why, but to be fair, you know, you gotta be as comfortable Here. as possible. <laughs> oh, so good. Does it again. Okay. How many times are we gonna see the whip? That <laughs> Okay, are you, are you ready to get it back? Ready to run oh it back your ass line? Because Eeyore will show us how it's done to the person just side. Spike planted. Turn that frown upside down. It's the spike planted just because of your opening. Not only that, look at the arsenal of person. Not one, but two operators right now in hand. This crown so effective and the shots do fly. Here. Mind Freak this time has the rifle, has all the utility he would love to utilize, especially the toxic screen. These angles are perilous and this time he's not going to be able to clutch it up for the spot. Flinch though, just so stable on the shot. Here comes Famous now seeing Benkai is back turned yet again. The Vi now the only one left. The 1v4 has to retreat. Curses though, they just don't disappear beats if they lose in that kind of matter they shrug they shrug it off they fight back they fight back and they answer back the same way versus paper rex paper rex somehow some way just not getting that mid control that they were expecting eeyore just actually just ran out through uh through double doors there we are looking at flinch's um sequence of kills with the operator but it really was i feel like eeyore the savior of the round benkai just not knowing where the rest was and i don't think the vi could have done anything other than just to save the weapon once again and the broken economy here for paper rex uh seemingly like might actually be on a tech pause but yeah this is uh gonna be that another back and forth as you as you mentioned there dax 
Come on, Astro. Let's be real. This is a highlight game. <laughs> this, is, this is that kind of game where these guys are going to do incredible things. You're going to wonder why they're fighting still. You're going to wonder why they're pushing it. But they will do it. You will like it. You will enjoy it. And you will say, this is a fact. That's pretty much it. There, I think the best we can really notice is just some of the, I'd say, missteps that they do sometimes on the positions they give up. And many a time... We're seeing it here on the Paper Rex fold is Persija is very, I'd say, great at navigation, if you notice, many a time, that they know that Paper Rex will want to push them because they do it themselves. So what happens is they're able to circumvent that, figure out which are more of the openings, and especially for the more aggressive pushes towards the site array take, that's where Persija can strike, and that's been one thing that's been keeping them in contention in this half. Well, I love how they can just do that over and over again. Person that really has been uh, a team that is incredibly scrappy, but makes sure that they can uh, try to, you know, just use that to their advantage, which it does. Forsaken is actually still pushed through the flash, but he knows to be a bit on the calmer end. Wait, what? How did they spot him? Forsaken, holy moly! Actually spots out too! I thought Benkai would have been the start of the downfall here. Forsaken is still Forsaken for a reason. Now, uh, Persija split up with two operators, by the way, on attack. Kind of interesting to see that. Yeah, they fought it for the last round. Yeah. And you can see if he if Forsaken actually dropped down to shoot, he would have a, a bit of a... Among us a moment there, just watching him drop down. But instead, safer plays here from Forsaken. He wants to anticipate, perhaps, a rotation here towards the cave as he flinches on the way to flinch down. Was spotted, but Forsaken, a rare whiff. 30 seconds It's left. actually happened now. Someone actually missing their shots. And Persija, they can take advantage of back. He does not miss it. Tap. And the Vi can be sleeping with the fishes this time. Spike now being planted. 3v2. For the moment, he's here by Persija Esports. Jing now closing the distance. He's got to have to find at least someone before anything. He will have the help of Mind Freak here, though, who did save his wall. So this is going to force at least Persija to start peeking right in. But that smoke from Mind Freak actually allows Eeyore to hunker down onto the corner here. Mind Freak now himself. In the close angle, flinch. The peak. Oh, he doesn't know about the flash from Jing. He can't really capitalize on it as Eeyore, 25 HP, but able to beat down on the two players of Paper Rex. Persinger, once again, they do it, and they'll do it even more. Three more to go before they can equalize against the MYSG team. Right, we're getting some stability here, but just check out this replay. It could have been such a great play for Paper Rex. Just catch out one of these two players, but. Where we have flinch moves on the round. And this was even well, better from ER. I don't blame Jink for going for that kind of play. I, I think it's really smart since Mind Freak had the judge anyway. You don't need to see where you're going. You just need to know that someone's in front of you and you just keep on shooting, right? But since ER survived there, got that takedown against the auto shotgun and into basically the side five since Paper Rex lined up for it. Persija, esports. You can really feel like in these crappy situations. They are still always have that chance. Neither team will give up until everyone is dead on their side. It's a pretty obvious thing, but you know, it's just because of what? the fact of the is, you have to watch your backs. And Forsaken now, he's rolled onto the beach. He brought his floaty, he brought his toys, and he's just bringing the frags here for Paper Rex. What is going on in Persija? Now they're the ones with the lapse of judgment. And Famous, he will get the backstab onto Bentai. But they realize the situation. The spike has been left behind, buried in the sands of time. It's now flinch though. Still going for the shot. Fragment there to zone it out. It's a little bit of leeway for Forsaken to move into the cave. Flinch now. Bladestorm and Hatter looking on up. Mind Freak is the target. No. And Mind Freak will Number not one. miss that shot. Famous though with the line of monster. Two more gets a three. Can he get a four? Yes, Don't he does. And you can say it here. This is a famous full of efforts for Famous. Eight to ten. Fear Esports clutch moment to the sky. The summertime saga flank from Forsaken, man. I thought that this would have been over already for uh, 
for Persija here, but somehow, some way, Famous threads the needle, gets in the middle of both Paper Rex or all three Paper Rex players, and catches them off guard. They were looking elsewhere, but where it was not nearly obvious, but the first thing that you would actually have looked for was just on that midpoint. Now, being said, Famous, as he mentioned, he's the one that can make this uh, famous bowl really uh, stand out in this uh, in this series. Jesus, the mass, the mass, the mass potatoes. And now then, take for Rex. Oh, Forsaken, Forsaken. If you don't win that first contact, someone is there to catch you from the other side. And there's a little bit of a problem right now. Take for Rex will let Forsaken just do what he wants all by his lonesome without that covering fire. And that might be Welcome the problem there. World. Good obvious here from Flitch so far. Not only that, Persija. Moves to stand on site. Spike now gonna get planted here. Jingdo with the push. No fear whatsoever from the robot. But corrosion will lead to his demise. Now then, Munch is on the board, making it 3v3. But still, Flinch doesn't want to watch out for here. And without his teammates, Viper Spit. He now has the sidelines to work with, but Eeyore is his name oh, and Eeyore gets the name of Ben Kai there. Shot comes, Flinch don't miss it. Mind Creep now going after Asterisk, but that's an explicitive that he will say as Asterisk will get that takedown. Davai now the only one left. He has the off, but teleports in front of the opposition. PSJ sees that one coming. We're, we're running round away here, Asterisk. One more round and we're tied up. And uh, Paper X just, they're one off. They're like one action away from winning a round, but Persija rally back or take it as take. How do you mention this? Take the tempo slower, and it ruins what Paper X want to do. Like they were so aggressive to take the site. They get the plant on the spike, and then Persija just like, we already got what we needed. Just calm down, back off, and we will make this work. And it does every single time. That is. Crazy to think about him. They've done this, what, it was like four to eight? That means that they've done it about five rounds now, and it has been working splendidly for them. As you mentioned, only one more before they can equalize. Yeah, I'm just seeing right now for their Paper X is one making those costly mistakes. If they're if they're ambitious with the peaks, they better damn sure they can hit those kind of shots. Because Persa just proven that they're not the type to miss an opportunity. And this is what I've been saying, like, first they were almost there when Paper Rex was playing in the more high-octane and high-impact fashion. But since Paper Rex can't capitalize on their opportunities, first will just get these picks for free rather than just trades. So this time now, going for that A site. Sheriff's again in hand for most of the Paper Rex faithful. Headhunter, of course, for the buy. We do have the null command just in case if they do want to go for the close quarter suppression. But here comes the Animal Kingdom again. The Seekers buy space for Flinch to get the kill on the Forsaken Dark. No broken, as Bentai will get one. Oh, oh, is there as well as the shots now coming on through yet again. Head hunting as a whole. E or do from the side one more time. And it's 2v1 as Jing needs a reboot here. It's when those updates happening in the wrong time there as he's on the floor. But Mind Freak, we've seen him do it before towards that B side. Can he do it now in a 1v2? Can isolate the fight, perhaps? Versus Flinch. Not gonna be going for the gun whatsoever. Cool, calm, selected rotation. No angle as of yet, oh, and no. Flinch right now with Here. the rifle instead and re-picks up his operator. We are going the distance. 10 to 10, as Persia Esports have won the last five rounds in a row. Here. Told you, like, Paper Rex, even though they're on the weaker buy, it, it seems like they were just one off from being able to rally back, and then Persich just, just, like, clicks. There's that one interaction that they click, and then Paper Rex are back to just losing the round over and over again. It's crazy to think about it, but, yeah, you're, you mentioned it again, five straight rounds, and it's all about Persich just, Persich just veering. A little too forced right there, good sir, but that's key. Also a little too forced from Eeyore, as Forsaken now has brought out his own operator. High time to make the shots and get that takedown. First, uh, they kind of have to respect this now. It's either they put Flinch to duel against Forsaken's up, or in this instance, they navigate towards that A side instead. PRX though, they're hiding here with the five, ready to just anchor it on in. 
and be a bother to those defaults. Does he have the rendezvous in place? Yes, he does if he needs to get the way. But Flinch already knows he's in the corner. And he might be peeking that one out. But the buy the opportunity! The only time Flinch goes back into cover for the blades. A good pick off there by the chamber in the first place. Mine pick though falls to his hand now. 3v4, the buy on the board again. This is paid for X. A bit cleaner, but Flinch is just absolutely One ambitious as he gets the 3k for himself. 1v1 right now between Asterisk and Forsaken. Let's get the angle though over out to Asterisk. Drops on down, throws a cloud burst. Is waiting for the peak to come from the Sova instead. But look at Asterisk take that risk. Shot doesn't hit from Forsaken this time. Dashing on away. A second chance, a reprieve perhaps. This is now the Vandal in hand. He's rushing in with the rifle, <gasps> knowing the time is of the essence. Asters, though, with a wraparound. They're walking no like Egyptians through these pyramids. Up the stairs and pulls towards the spike. But here comes Asterus, who outplays and outmaneuvers Forsaken. It's 11 to 10. First, uh, taking the lead away. And you can see some of the shots that Forsaken aren't, isn't hitting. It's costing Paper X. Get out of my rounds. way. Oh, oh, man, that was really difficult to watch to be honest because forsaken kind of overplayed himself right it, it felt like he kind of made it well too overcomplicated, but he was trying to read where asterisk was and asterisk did play it quite uh quite intelligently that forsaken was just charging in making so many footsteps that you know all of china knows that you're here and then he just plays around it so well well on reference by the way but yeah Oh no, Forsaken. It's just crazy to think how Persija has gotten back into it. In a game this high contact, it's really just the accuracy of these, of these shots right now. Or in these cases, the outmaneuver of one another. And we've seen it from Ben Guy a while ago. We see it from Asterisk now. You're famous with the backstabs, mind freaks with the shots. So many examples here for both sides proving that this is that kind of series because Persija can keep up with Paper X. And now the question lies on the Paper X. We gave him that leeway because they were leading for quite a lot of it. But this time now, should they still be going for these ambitious peaks? Because how many times have we seen them get punished anyway by Persija? Will we actually get a stance change here from Paper X instead? Seems like though there's still a bit more the forefront that Forsaken wants to do in the first place, but at the same time, there's more restraint now from the defense. Viper Spit towards B main in here. Again, yeah, Viper Spit's not the uh, one and all, the one and done that allows you to uh, push everybody back from the attackers on that spike that you use that ultimate on. But it is good now yeah. to dissuade Person Jump from just charging right in. They've taken a slower pace at this. But if Asterisk can actually find something with his Recon Dart, or maybe Famous opens things up, and has used all of his util utilities, so we'll have to wait for a few more before he can have um, more of those Guiding Lights. Maybe, Here. maybe just maybe, they can still uh, make things work. 40 seconds on that timer, on that clock. And it's still like Persija is undecided about where they want to go. I think Paper Rex might have found a good round to get things started. And Persija being forced on... Again, weird timers would be very awkward. Ear timing. But Versaken was just faster. To run. 30 oh, seconds back left. This is the rhythm that Paper Rex wants. And Hunt's here, here for Asterisk to scope out that B site. Flinch, though. On the enemy side. Let's get the kill on the Ching. Versa just running out of time. Flinch, though, bailing them out at the moment's notice. Here we go again. Flinch it one more time. Just a steady hand that guides Versa just towards the A side. He Here. points in the direction Here. and clicks at Paper Rex. 4v2 now. And this operator in the hands of Flitch. This is not for drop. He has been absolutely on point with the shots. And for Paper Rex, it's conundrum. Do they go for the saves? It's such an awkward setup here. They have the judge, they have the bulldog, and no even avenues for the exit. What a commanding presence here by Flinch, putting his name in the bucket hat of incredible jet players. And as we get the flash there, it's just to confirm that no one's watching. Cursage now on map points, looking to force out the third map in the series. Oh my gosh. How does that even happen? Like, Match point. as you mentioned, Flinch was just 
on point, and he's about to hit that 30 bomber, Forsaken and the rest of Paper Rex. They've already bought so many times in the previous Here. rounds. And I don't know if they still have any more left in that uh, in that vault of theirs to keep funding the purchases of these weapons. But wow, just Persiger, they, they oh, I don't know how to describe it, but they can just make so many things work with people in their, um, with the players that they have, especially as you mentioned it, with uh, with Flinch here. Taking that slower pace, Forsaken trying to catch him on the cross, good enough, because Jing is hitting the crossfire, he's done it, he's made the waves, but again, they can't be too, uh, they can't be too complacent, as again, Rosify and Flinch are still here playing, and this tandem is very damn scary. Oh, Flinch. Oh, man. Yeah. He's right there. He's ready for it as Ryan at 2v2 as Flinch. One more time. Showing how cool all the collected he can be. But the backstab here from Mind Freak now might be able to get the out maneuver. Ben Kai making noise. And it's all about the pinch right now here. Courtesy of Paper Rex. Rules of Fight though. Low on the HP. Now the victim here of Mind Freak. There we have the scan. He's in the corner. Clapper still go to go for cover. But the snake fight is thrown on out. Here comes the shot. But Ben Kai is there to save his teammates. And the DQ is here for Paper Rex to stay on alive. I love the adjustment there for Paper Rex. Even if Forsaken isn't going to be able to win out that duel from afar, you mentioned that Jing is ready. We've been laughing that for a while here for Paper Rex. I think that's the one weakness we've seen here so far from the them on able. the defense. But this time they're prepared to protect one another. It's not just a rampage of a single player anymore. Well, has to be Persia here prepared for that coming into the last round of regulation. How are they going to be able to do that once more to, pu to push it into overtime? Right? I, I felt like that was just a really well set up play between the two of them. But to be honest, the synergy right now for Jing and Forsaken have been quite shaky, at least for this, for this Breeze map. That being said, though, Flinch has taken some pretty fatal damage. Might need the heal of uh, Famous there. Famous Ford now is just uh, backing away, but there it is. Yeah, the nice little top off will give Flinch another uh, chance to just charge right in. And Benkai, I wonder where this will pop off, but seemingly could be just a lower mid. But if he uses that right now, he will not spot anybody for PSJ. Deploying drone. The Aljo now, though, the scouts. First, is just still loving this cave angle because Flinch has found so much success with it. So they're gonna try perhaps one more time. They have the spike though near the spawn as they're looking for a few pickoffs towards the middle. But Paper Rex, they're not biting as of yet. So you can do a move in on the round. He might be able to get the spot. No, he does reinforce the site instead. So this is now going to be more of a potential second angle here for Persija as the chamber is left. right there in the midpoint with the buy again. Looking for redemption. Asterisk though with a shot down off the Jing. Really, these not commands. Just the execution leading to the blue screen of his own death. And Paper Rex will be hearing that spike being planted. Now they have to test with ER, but the Vice still holding on. And Bill Flint shows on up. Spike planted, Asterisk is there, and Persija! It's coming close here. Here, they're getting through the field. They're seeing the net right in front of them. Blocking sight. They just want to scream into the heavens to take the race. They can get things done, or they can go. They go down without the fight. Catches out famous flinch right now. With the place up to use it. But Venkai coming in close and gets the train after Mind Freak falls. Rosify now and flinch inside the cave. They're just watching this angle as much as possible. Creep on in though. The cloud here for Forsaken right now. And when we get the push from Paper Rex, it's the deep use though from Venkai. Forsaken! We'll see these two! And Paper Rex keep control. This is gonna be close though. And Persia oh! will be witnessing an overtime in front of them. With half a second to spare, Pace for two sides. Barely getting away with that one. Oh my gosh, Forsaken went absolutely banger mode on this one. Not this this fight specifically, but the ones before this. Um, I gotta say though, Divai just missing a that lot works. of the shots. Yes, he did soften up those two players of uh, of Persija. That's why you saw Flinch and Rosify down to like 40, 50 HP. That, that was because Divai was hitting a lot of body shots. But his uh, his life in the back of A 
hasn't been as fruitful I think as I think he wanted to be. It's either he played it so uh so passive or he was just not really having he was just having an off day that he couldn't really find the shots even if it was there right in front of him. And again, you might say that that's fine, it happens, but when it's this important when the match is this crucial, you really can't not have those kills fall into your hands. Well, this is it now. The goal was in sight. They wanted to go for the playing kick. drone instead. Go for the penalties here instead, or in this case now, overtime and Valorant. ERX navigating towards the site, but famous again. Now let's find spike a pickup onto B. one. ER also watching. The bite has spike done some drop. damage. Paperx still willing themselves toward that B side. Keep an eye out though. On to Mindfreak. Coming through the tunnel. Be able to get a good hatch towards the arches with a nice shot right there to bring the take out. Backstab now. Finally, I think it's Mark. It's 3v3, but the buy so low. Ben Kaido. Says buy to one before he falls. And it's Flinch and Astros now to try and bail out Persija on the rating. You can see for Paperx, they're setting things up from B main. Already halfway here for Asterisk. The cloud percent for the cover. Go again? Persija will they do it again? Yes, they do. Paperx, what is going on with you? Because Persia Esports Switching not sides. only just gets the defuse under point. their noses, but Flinch still popping like crazy. 35 for the shit. Um, I'm lost for words. Like. They, they just needed to not respect that the tap was going to be just that, a tap. It was a full commit to the defuse and Persija a second time, but this time, hella crucial. Because now they just need one more round. Paper X, I feel like they're going to be so pissed about that, but yeah. how do they bounce back? Man, they need to if they want to force a second overtime. But what a whimper of... A setup, honestly, for Paper Rex. You'd think that they'd have something with Mind Freak, perhaps, Snake Bite, maybe just peek it out anyway, whatever utilities. But then again, the guy in light comes, Paper Rex. Yeah, Forsaken at least anticipate and attempt a shot. Then hit his mark, though, over onto Persija. And here we go again. A sight is the call. But the big difference here, Asura, is that for an overtime, Flinch cannot buy the operator and the armor at the same time. He's gonna go for the rifles. It's Forsaken with the big gamble here instead. And as he waits for anyone to peek on through, first just through the middle, it is gonna Scout be them destroyed. watching out for that Hold whole out. control here. So famous now. And he lights, gets on through, doesn't find its market though. And as Paper Rex now holds down the fort, Forsaken will get the first frag here. This opening of door for Famous is going to be really strong left. to pinch Davai in. I think he still has a TP to go back onto yellow. And yeah, Benkai is not going to allow that to happen. But no, Davai will have to hold on for just a tad bit longer. Jinx has been spotted out already. They still have eyes set here. Good little flash out. Finally, Benkai finds him. But look at this. Flinch is activated. His blades are out and he's already picked up the 4K. We could be going for the third game already here, Dax, as Mind Freak is the last hope for Paper Rex to push this further into the overtime. Asterisk Flinch are both low. Rosify does have the setup here. And again, it's a three versus one. Mind Freak will use a bit of this time to just uh, well, find his opponents, but it's not really helping that the other Viper has utility to use here. Mind Freak's gonna have to push right in. He's been spotted already, but again, time out of the essence. He's gonna have to start dw uh, dwindling down, maybe having the HP spotted out too already. But he's tempering fate. Two bullets in a dream. One. Pistol, timing, no time. oh, we're gonna go to game three. Yeah, they lose to the spike to get the kills, Attackers but Persija win. finally get their goal and get the map for this series. An overtime that's ended Persija, but at the same time, it can be the same plan here for Persija because it's Flinch on that jet, Asterisk on the stage. But the problem is, it's kind of more, I'd say, proven already here by Paper Rex from how they play off each other, how they run at each other, that that might be the game plan in this instance. And we're seeing a lot of similarities in terms of the gameplay here of first gen Paper Rex, a bit of that emulation here and there. But of course, the proof has been on the Paper Rex side. If first gen right now, just keeping the fight on. But here's a fun fact, Asura, first gen has not dropped 
an icebox map as of yet this year. And they're looking to the two just keep on with that kind of train of thought. But Mind Freak now breaking the train of thought of Flinch to start things off. Coming in close. Nice scan there. The force throws by away. And this Viper now has navigated towards the site, but Eeyore does not fit and is able to hold. The thing is, though, it's a distraction as we go towards B instead. They really love to go for these distraction plays for Paper Rex, just making uh, big, chonky utility just uh, dissuade opponents from thinking, oh, it's not, it's going to be a full commit to the A site, not going to be a fake on B. But it is that. Sikin now holds the Sheriff in hand. And this is a four versus four on the retake. Good shot to start off from the buy. He's angry now here, Dax. Doesn't want to allow the opponents to match up even further. Let's hit a two versus two. The buy gonna have to try to make something happen. Coming in from the side here. And Benkai, oh, a tiny little wall. He knows that Asteris is out. And he's trying to run for dear life back into the corner. Ball is about to break. Benkai can always just swing out here. And Asteris, oh my god, how is Benkai alive? He's gonna go back he's once again. again. And there he is, he's got it! Finally, Benkai understands they're not gonna be afraid to keep defusing this spike over and over again. But honestly, 4 HP in a dream, and Benkai achieves his goals. The mind game is of Benkai. The spike games, honestly. It's a different kind of, I'd say, situation. When you're 1v1, and it's Benkai there running around on the other side just trying to psych you out. Could have been a victory there for Persija, but they did realize also, you know, this hole that they're going to put just in case they want to go for the covering fire, it can fight them back. And the wall shatters on the other side. Persija there. They can lose out to the antics of Paper Rex yet again. You can already see it was a great chance for that free take. And Paper Rex now. They're going to have the gun advantage I think push towards the side. So Forsaken and Jing, they're looking to climb the charts here. Get those kills, get those ultimates as soon as possible. Forsaken though, call out by Rosify. Does seem like here for Persicha. They're lo looking to just get this pinch. Hey, Jing, there's no one watching for you. Asterisk will get the takedown. And it's the Divine Mind Freak clean up the round. A few more losses than necessary here for Paper X. There's some laps in Paper X's push, but... That's his person I feel like having good timing as they try to, you know, mull through the uh, the save round there, or the, the bonus round rather, or not the bonus round, but the buy round rather for uh, Paper Rex. This is the bonus round for them. Uh, that actually allows Rosify to get closer to his Hunter's Fury. I'm not sure if he has it right now. It might need like two more kills if ever, but getting close, especially on Paper Rex's uh, gun round is going to be incredibly, incredibly huge. Now, Flinch, I wonder if going to try to pop shot through this uh, nest here or something to pa uh, to catch out Flinch because he's not going to be able to dash away back into the safety of his uh, into the safety of his position. Oh. Now it drops down My and Jing was prepared ready. for it. Yep, they knew exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, they expected already. Percy stood there. Yeah. Face of aggression all throughout the series. Paper X now, a bit more wary to some of these angles in the first place. But the clouds now gonna be set over onto the pipes. There is that blockade of vision, but Paper X, they haven't even committed towards that A side. You can see them that they're moving forward that B push instead. And Mind Freak has already made a meal in the kitchen. And while he's snacking, he also shoots famous along the way. So 5v3 now, Paper Rex. Having the guns in so even, and it's something really dicey here for first chip because they're Boys not too the sure the Paper X is going for that B site. Now they get the confirmation. Seconds left. The problem is the clear out hasn't happened yet. The Vi here from above, just able to shoot Asterisk there. Execution style. One Eeyore now. Standing. Able to get a takedown. For Staken though with the trade. All left out the rose if I he will bloom here on B site for one takedown. But all that's all she wrote. This is now looking more convincing here for Paper Rex. 3 to 0 as they win out in bonus, basically. True right enough. Persija, they're starting to. Or not really sorry, but they have been doing these in the past couple of rounds where they just keep pushing singularly and hope that they can catch off Paper Rex more than just the one kill that they always uh, seem to trade for. And it's a nice idea. But Paper X, at least for these couple of rounds, have been spot on, uh, if not to stop the trade, or if not to stop the 
the death on their side to actually still get the trade regardless. Eeyore, uh, he's taken a, quite a bit of a beating here. We'll have to back yeah. away to get the heal from Asterisk. There it is. Benkai making sure that every spot, every nook and cranny will be uh, squeaked clean as they try to push for that A site. That being said, they haven't really committed to the fight yet. They actually spread themselves out and Forsaken is close enough to actually touch uh, Flinch there, if ever Flinch does go for the peak. Oh, but there you have now the one for ones as Jing up top the nest and Benkai is there for the takedown. So 410 control gives them all the angles that they will need and the wall set up to allow the spike plan to happen. Forsaken with another one, that's Rose Fight going down. Asterisk, he's the one with the gun, but can't do anything. This should be around here for people Rex. And that they do so to make it 4 to 0. Here's the point I want to make here, Asterisk, right? Persija. It does feel like their defense is a bit more predictable compared to their attacking side. The attacking right side, here. they get better at the flanks, they're better at getting the backstabs, good at yeah. taking the angles. Yeah. But on the defense, when they even want to play alert play, it's already covered up by Paper Rex. So Paper Rex gets that intrinsic intel, expecting maybe some of these cheeky angles. They'll take a bit more time just to make sure someone like Flinch or famous isn't able to get away scot free with a random you pickup out of nowhere. So far, so good here for Paper Rex. Now the updraft to try and get the catch. Flinch taking a bit of damage. He has the operator though. And we've seen how magnificent it could be for Persija. But the Vi here wanting to get a bit of playtime. And he's going for his own tour de force. I'm actually surprised that the Vi didn't really commit to the Spike fight there for that beat. long. Famous just sneakily placing himself the back of yellow forsaken holding the cross here and famous has already known that he's dropped the spike of the attackers all he has to do now is wait for his teammates to play with him and did he just oh yeah he refunded his tp the traps about to activate they have, still haven't checked him out here but finally mind freak explodes here comes forsaken to help the rest of the squad up and that wall at least allows him to pick up the spike before Somebody comes in and gets a bit too wily. That being said, he might need to back away for now, not knowing that what comes from behind is going to be Eeyore. And he almost actually Spike incapacitates Eeyore there. Yeah. Still not going to matter. And now, Paper X again back onto the mission of trying left. to pick up their own spike where it's out in no man's land. Here. Flinch is so close with the Operator. I think he just slapped him in the face with it. Last not careful. Standing. Mind Freak. Okay, he's gotten, he's made something happen. There's not a lot of time. 12 seconds and oh, that's a shot to remember. And Persija, they needed the one round. They brought out the operator and they will get it. And as soon as I said, you know, Persija is looking a lot more predictable, they suddenly get the off angles to work with. But it really is just the constitution basically of Famous to stay there over Enemy at yellow. Remaining. He got the impact that he needed. And from that point on, that's where Persija is able to start snowballing for the round. Thing is, Paper Rex, it has to be more of a sure secure if they're gonna be going for the site. If they are gonna be coming from mid to B, they need to have someone there yet ready by yellow already. And they need to anticipate that Persija here will be willing to stand there, stay there, and just duel rather than give up that position. The Bentai now. That's a free kill from afar. Eeyore is gone. And the Toxic Rain that could have helped him out in this a hold is not going to be able to be used whatsoever. Inactive state as Persage now on top of the nest. Shafto does it connect. Seems like Flinch now having some struggles with the angles here on Icebox. And that will be Jing capitalizing on that map. Famous though on the board. We're the tour of the force. Jing up top again on the nest. Now he hides Famous even on the right hand side. And it really feels like it's just chimes here for Jing. He's like the wind blowing Silence. left and right. Finally, though, Rosify will nip him in the bud. In a 1v3 situation. This is way too difficult right now for the Sova to get the angle. People Rex, they just set up on the site. And Jing does the dance of death through the opposition. Can Rosify, though, get Gone. anyone else? At least gets rid of Benkai along the way. Recon Dark now needs to get the spot for Forsaken does not miss this one. It's 5 to 1 as Paper Rex now trying to get back on the Snowball Express that they want to ride with. Holy guacamole, Dax. That, uh... Jing just does not fear anything at all. Using the Recon Dart of his teammates to, uh, make things happen and... 
My goodness, he's a one-man wrecking crew, or in this case, a wrecking ball, and he came in like a wrecking ball. Uh, I see you're a fan. Yeah, you know, we got a party in that USA. <laughs> so, do you like Miley or ha Hannah better? That's my question. People probably don't know her as Hannah Montana, man. Uh, that anymore. one is the <laughs> yeah. that's the real OG experience. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought back then it's, it was a legit thing that she would actually go on tour like that. For because you know it's her actual dad on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Whoa, this is for reals!" And apparently, it's not. I've been baboozled, and yeah. and then she changed her music, and I was like, "Ah, completely different kind of person." That's all good. Child stars yeah, that had sitcoms that got famous and actually got into the music industry. Oh, that's true. It's yeah. like suddenly the wild side comes out. But you know what's pretty wild in here? This series, the now. Getting back to the people Rex control, the imposition that has given them the success all throughout, well, their career here in APAC. And the problem right now is we kind of called out early on for people Rex, especially Forsaken, missing a few crucial shots that could have given his team the advantage for that breeze map. And now the shoe is on the other foot. Flinch here. here. It's, he's taking it, his second shot usually is the one to get the connection. And against a team like people Rex, you don't have that kind of time. Famous though. Great relocation with the rendezvous to get on the way. The Vi, he's watching for the push. And this is now the problem of a person that I mentioned. These guys on Paper Rex have that chamber on Watchpoint duty. The trademarks are set. Even if there's a Cloudburst, they'll be anticipating that. And oh my goodness. Jake? Awkward scenario playing with your Legos. Getting shot in the face. Heartbreak though. We'll get the takedown. But despite that one small misstep, it's Paper Rex confirming their ace side take. You could say that he came down to break your walls. All he, he ever did was wreck those walls. There they are. You know, so he's a wrecking ball still, but low with a shot. Finally, throws a five with a correction. Divide there with the operator anyway. I'm not taking. It's 3v2. Asperis does have a rifle and the resurrection. Mindfreak, though, still up top. The high ground vantage point again, bringing him to force. But a rose if I now with a catch was up with Paper Rex running into the members of Persia Esports here. As Rosefire will go for the tap, he just wants it to bring some easy. down along with him. But that Ben Kai, can he escape? Not gonna happen. Still 6 to 1, though. First, Esports getting the frags. It's another inst institution in another round where there's still a survivor for Paper Rex. It's fine. Again, they've won so many rounds that I felt like they should have money to keep. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. You know, just works. keep the. Uh, the weapon's still alive, but that was really awkward. I think the problem there was from Jing, which is he just started uh, running as soon as he spotted um, his opponent right in front of him. Do you, do you think that since he saw him like that, just casually strolling through, that one, that was his teammate, but I think more more so that since he was awkwardly with the barrier orb, but also trying to just be like, maybe he doesn't see me, maybe I can get away with this. And no, that's Your not gonna happen in this kind of series, over. but here we have it now. Back in the game, Asurai as Jing will be able to get the takedown and the resurrection. But Mind Freak! That is painful when you not just, just die once but twice for the lack of cover from your team. Still though, this has given Paper X the push that they need. Scratch that as ER will shut the door onto Jing there. And it's now 3v3. It's forsaken the with the blades this time. Lynch there with the operator. Oh, I decide no. giving an inch, but oh. Eeyore, he's just not missing whatsoever. Absolutely accurate with the shots. And people Rex now, they're forced to play on this A site here. And they have the Vi on an operator. Might not be the best weapon if you can't find anything. Eeyore, though, could be the Five first planted. recipient. Transaction complete, mayhaps, with the op here. The buy hiding inside the box as Benkai oh, now being here. hounded down by Eeyore. There's the shot to start it off. He does have the headhunter, but his head will be the one that is hunted. It's famous gets the headshot. That's going to be the retake and flinch with the defuse. They get themselves a sniper. And all that through the messiness of the mid push from uh, Paper Rex. Yeah, Paper Rex, a costly mistake. Why bother resurrecting your teammate if you're just gonna let them die for free anyway? You might have banned on my trick there to help on out, but this is how it started. They went for that mid-buy thanks to Forsaken.
but Eeyore is the one who anticipated the upcoming A push. Since the wall was set up there anyway, it was one pretty streamlined for people. Rex, it seems like first just saying, okay, these guys are actually the ones who are predictable Here. on the other side. Instead, 6 to 2 right now, Rosify though, having a game to remember with the 10 frags here. It seems like the Sova finding his heyday right now for Here. first year esports. The back still stands. There's that mid contest here, here. from Paper Rex. Problem is, though, Asurai, BRX is running out of money, so if they lose this one, might not be the best, and it's even worse, because Famous is right in front of Benkai playing with his toys. Look at the slow arp, though, courtesy of the side of Asterisk, actually. Nice lob to put a stop to any kind of thing that's Forsaken. Not only that, the Hunter's Fury has been unleashed, and Rosify trying to just keep the zap on to the corridor. Tesla Coil's prime for Saken though. Tries to take down over onto Flinch. And this is now gonna be the high ground take for the plant. The Viper Spit, absolutely essential for this take. Let's see first can fight so. on back, but the Vibe will stop ER in his tracks. Mind Freak, he's trying for dear life to actually plant the spike in. And spike because down, there's just that teeny tiny fart of the smoke that is very much exposed to the defenders. That was wishful thinking. Can't get the res anymore, so maybe this can actually help out. Well, it does for a bit of a moment, and Dubai comes remaining. in for the swing. We're one now left remaining. with Famous in a one-on-one. -on -one. 25 seconds here, and he's already been spotted. Oh boy. Spike, though, will have, have to spike. get picked up by Jing. He needs to find some special space to maybe get into this. Did he spot him? Yeah, he saw him moving oh, towards that crate. Wow. Just a slight pixel eagle eye there for Jing. And the 3k there for Paper Rex to win out that round. Collapse over Versija. They're the ones this time who had that Resurrection Rumble issue. So. Since they were looking for that corpse. 30 seconds. No one had and one angle enemy in. remaining. You can see Last Asus player back. stand. Flinch the life, but the Vi just takes him down anyway. And as soon as Jing had an inkling that famous was right there. He knew he got the tags already, just whipped out the classic, ran in to get the takedown. And it's Paper Rex right now getting the advantage for that. So apparently Resurrections probably cursed for this game. <laughs> but this is just painful here for Persija because Paper Rex, they're the ones not missing many beats right now. And really, PSG had such a cleaner second half there on Breeze, one of the best we've ever seen from them. They're gonna need to play at that level if they wanna deal with Paper Rex. Jing though with the fight. Oh, to one. Nice spray down for Forsaken. Catching out Eeyore by the center after the spot. And Paper Rex now. Back to A side we go. Nice cover fire there from Jing as Forsaken wants to go for that Raptor's position even. And it's now 4v2. Not any much of the guns here for Paper for the side of Persija. And as I say that, it's Paper Rex already done with the round after I. Paper Rex. They love their icebox, man. And over and over again, time and time again, this has been the map that has uh, jettisoned them into stardom. We've seen it before a couple of months ago. We'll see it again in this one. And you <laughs> just can't forget as well about the curse of, uh, of the resurrection. I don't know the what's curse the curse resurrection. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you don't play with life, Asurai. <laughs> this is what happens. Give it and take it. Where do you, you think that play, life comes from? Play. Those are like some of the deep stuff when you talk about the resurrection stories, but now we the resurgence of Versa Jeff, they want to fight back. Oh, there's a, a... Finally getting the kill, but the <laughs> buy so quick on that shot. And there's the rest this time. It's safer here. Maybe River X can be able to break that curse. Then again, the wall now set one up. Nice break up from Eeyore. Give a chance here for Versa Jeff to put a stop to this push. But they can go with a relocation right behind the fort and right now. Paper X is thinking about it. Will they commit towards that A site? They can still go for the rotate if ever. But they've given the spike over to Ben Kai instead. And he is in the back line just in case he can sneak on away. But my freak now with the infiltration. The oh, brain blast yet no. again. And the force of nature, the snowstorm doesn't matter because my freak is a tornado of his own. Famous finally with the takedown. But in the 4v1 scenario, it's a tour de force bringing the Gucci gang of PRX to another round. Last round in the half. Is it Gucci or Louis Vuitton? The Louis Vuitton of operators. Either. Whatever is expensive, that's right. It's plated gold, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, true enough, true enough. But, gotta say though, I can't believe that uh, Persinger here just got hella debated. Like, they were already riling back to the B site, but Paper Rex, all they really had to do was just wait. I guess the reason why he also gave uh, 
Benkai the spike was because they know the jingle is going to entry frag once again and he can't really be bothered with just uh, planting the spike, right? So, basically, inside the smoke though, just to take the baton from you real quick. The fight with the takedown. Just so many nuances though in that last round. And, hello? Precision? Did you just let Paper Rex in? Okay, this is dangerous now, but Asterisk. Nice heads up, and eventually the guard just taps there to get that takedown. A side though is in control here for the side of Paper Rex. And it will be the 4v4 scenario. We are low on the HP here. Jingo has already gotten on through right beside the rafters here, the staircase. And apparently the ascension to heaven, not through the stairs, but because their souls are brought to the higher grounds by the sage instead. Keeper Rex with a 2 10 sides. score line. And I think this is the perfect time to talk about what has happened in those last four rounds. Remember that cool instance for Keeper Rex swapping around that spike. They can't back. And back on Jinx to play that entry also because they were waiting for Mind Freak to get the infiltration. And it really feels like here for the side of Paper Rex, they're sure of what they want to do. But at the same time, they still have these exit strategies and these positions to get the hell out of dodge if need be. But what we're seeing for First Agent instead, they're rooted in these positions, they're stuck in their ways, and suddenly Paper Rex, not just in the front, but also from side to side, they get the angles. You see those rafters hold from Persija. Usually it can work against a you know against a normal outlook, a normal push. But what Paper Rex does, since you have someone like Jing that aggressive to push on forward, and you know Forsaken is gonna be trying to play an off angle, they suddenly get the right turnaround at the right time to make the sandwich happen. And you can see the difference. This is another game where Jing is taking control of the scoreboard. 17 takedowns for the stage. And this is the sync that we get at what we wanted compared to that last map from Paper Rex. I don't know. It's just how Paper Rex forced the hand of Flinch every single time. And look at that. Speaking of Flinch, he's uh he's not looking too hot right now. It's two to eleven. He used all his powers. Yeah, he, he used all his powers last game. That was a hit. He just, that was a run. <laughs> he needs a second win though. If yeah, first Angel wants to get back into it because as we noticed, right, a while ago there on Breeze, perfect angle on Caves, single shot, single kill. This time it takes him like a second shot just to re peek and get those takedowns. And Paper Rex is not giving him that kind of opportunity this time. Gotta give it a, a, again to Jing. It's like, oh, we got trades, but then after every couple of rounds, Jing will just have his res, and they're like, good trades, but not really. <laughs> it's about to broke the curse, man. He broke the curse. He was the chosen one. So he was the one gifted by God's hands, basically. <laughs> You know that you know that anime. This is this for you one. You know that anime with the bread, and the guy who makes it has hot hands. Yeah, like, really Japan. Bread. Yeah, that one. There you go. This is MYSG's finest bread, basically for Paper X, and they're looking to get this bread, get this round as we get now into the second half. Pistol, oh, nice shots nice though from planted. the buy. Tap and tag into the headshot there for the takedown. Amid the beat though from Persija, the wall in the way, but the thing is the rope is there to lift Jing up. And you can see that it just adds one more to the score. No it's way! It's the face of famous! That is just disrespect there, good sir. Eight for Rex now. 11 to 2 on their confidence. And they're two away from moving to next week. Jing is the hopping assassin. Just... He's basically... Mario. Or... Ezio Auditorium. You gotta hop on opponents to uh, hop on, you know, the AIs, the NPCs to uh, eliminate them, execute them. Instead of a uh, Goomba stop, yeah. it's a Jinx stop. Yeah, yeah there you, you go. Look, look at that. Yeah, he's in front of him. And that actually messed up Famous's aim a lot since he was trying to catch him while the descent was happening. And when he's in your face, you're aiming a little too high up. And well, that is where the free gun, the best gun, you know. Get up close to personal, and that should be enough for people Rex to go for the takedowns. Anyway, though, it's 11 to 2, and this is desperation for first. John. They're not even gonna go for the save, they want to still stay with people Rex on the regulation scoreline. And if they lose this, 
This might be the end, really, of this series. Flinch, though, finally getting the first frag here. They desperately need the opening, but Ben Kai just with a lowdown. My freak is there, and whether from top to bottom, it's just a shooting gallery here for Paper X. It's like that duck game in the arcade. They just go on through, you get those takedowns, and it's Paper X now getting the stuffy and the grand prize. It's match point for them. They need just that one more. It's already been called out. The speed at which uh, Percy just wanted to take the site, not enough. They gotta go for the break next. The the light speed, infinity and beyond and all that, but yeah, it's not uh, looking too hot at at all. I don't know what the problem now is for Persija, but it seems like they are just battering or batting multiple players into just the one side and hoping that it is enough to overwhelm the rest of Paper Rex here. But again, this is their domain. Enemy. This is their territory. This is their kingdom for Paper Rex. You can just really see the nuances on this map is something they love. Persija, though. Feels like in a scrappy series like this, Asterite, it's a matter of running out of steam. They still have a little bit left in the tap with those two takeouts. We're taking out Spotted, but Spike. the mow down oh. is through. They line up for him. Here we go, yet again for half, but Rose the fight now. Finally getting a bloom there with the Sheriff. Able to have a Marshal fix up the Vandal instead. It's a mad scramble towards that B site. The two versus two, those ahead. First to Esports alive. There we have it. Ben Kai again from above. Looking to say goodbye to famous, but no, it's famous instead. A chamber superstar like for his liking, apparently, to keep the team alive. But here comes Mind Freak. And you know it's been cold here, but the weather front now will actually blow in favor of first jet esports. They stay alive. But it's still such a difficult scenario. Nine more rounds to gap. Rex has all the rounds to give by this point. And they still have. Again, a lot of ultimates that they have yet to use coming into this one. I think uh, it might be enough that we probably will be seeing Forsaken have his blades once again and how scary that could be. I really wanted to see Forsaken's uh, POV in this one and how he held the angle. Spike That's down. how. Oh my goodness. Again, just able to just reposition and catch off players left, right, and center. Crazy stuff, but really, really good persevering round there for Persija. As you mentioned, it gives them a bit of, uh, bit of leeway here, and oh my gosh, maybe it's just time for Flinch to start working his magic as the two-piece comes falling into his hands. Maybe in the third? Oh, Benkai is running away. He's chasing him. <laughs> yeah, no chance. No chance, no getting away from the hunter. That is Flinch right now, but Ching from the spawn. Well placed on the angle. Still not the best buy so it's here for Paper X. Mind Freak only with the Sheriff. Let's not forget, this was the side where he started losing rounds against Fancy United. So chance still for Persia to impose. Drop down there from Ching. Doesn't lead to much. Mind Freak though with the trade of Lease. And then one beat three states. I don't think he's going to be able to do the same thing he did on Breeze a while ago. If he does, he is just a miracle worker here for Paper Rex. And no, not this time. No holiness for you, good sir. Rosify. Keep Prestige alive. From nine to eight. Still a long way to go. Such a long way to go, but those frags from Flinch is making me hopeful that Persuja, they've got, they might be getting their second steam here. The big problem with that is that steam can always be uh, dealt with with a lid. You know, you gotta find the lid, the lid, nothing but the lid. <laughs> what? What's that from? Come on, entertain me. SpongeBob reference, as always. Uh, we only, we yeah, only reference SpongeBob here because, yeah. you know. Yeah. Or that so cool. Maybe we'll ask the Magic Conch who will win this game a little bit. Now, the game is afoot again as Flinch the Wait. Asterisk. Yes? Is it? Oh, okay, he died. Okay, okay, oh, never mind. Your, your eyes are blinding you, good sir. But now it's clear that Paper Rex will try to hold off this A push. Seems like though the top screen is still set up here for the defense. And Ching, as soon as the wall comes down, it's also the fall of Flinch along the way. Oh, the shots are still bouncing on out. Here we go now with the second lob. E are now with a fine on to Ching. Big pick up here for the side of first job. The fine though. Might find the lineup here, but the rose the fight again. Blooming in these tense situations. 10 HP though, and the dream still finds a shot. A. On to asterisk anyway. Maybe three right now though. 
goes by with a takedown, but a quick trade from Benkai. This is second player dicey though for first Ninja. It's really close, but eventually the will to win the movement to that A site does become a 2v1 here, Asurai. Speaking of which, it's gonna be Mind Freak again left to try to handle the situation, but this time he's much better equipped, but oh he guesses wrong. He thought that they were probably on the other side of his own wall. And he gets confounded in person that they're building up the building blocks of comeback. Bit by bit, it is allowing them to reach the pinnacle, which is the 12 of Paper Rex. Just a little bit more here, Dax. But again, not that easy when they only can play perfection. Yeah, and I love the fact that that was such a quick heads up by Persija. As soon as they realized that Viper Wolf was going down from the side by Perex, they peaked it. Just in case he wasn't looking. And you know, the timing has been one of the biggest deciding factors here for Perisja. When they start winning these rounds, it's just because they have that kind of impeccable timing, the know how, and the new ones to peek on now. But let's be real, that was such a scrappy round, and it could have gone into King Perex's favor. But here we go. Famous starts out with a take down. But Jing! With the thing on the one and two! Are the bells ringing here for Paper Rex for victory perhaps? Wait, if you search it, it might not even be the first result of this though, match. But still a chance to go for the resurrection. Jing don't mind how to use his evade instead. There we have the peak on that. Can't find no. the head. Finally, oh, Nick Aster is dead. And no. it brings back that four from Jing. Ding a ling no. ling. The eight there to Jing end it all. Win. And Jing will rule the Icebox Kingdom as Paper Rex moves on to next week. What a victory for PRX. Out of into play anymore. Uh, there's always a point where people will say, oh, why did you pick up a map that you're not really as uh, well-versed in? Even, even though it might be counterintuitive, you just don't want to have that uh, come pop out when the series gets deeper in. You might not want to play game three with Fracture when you might not be as comfortable with it. I don't want, I don't want to say that they're not prepared for it, but uh, that is one of the reasons why some teams just want to get their quote-unquote worst maps are, uh, out there, even if... Oh, timing is going to be crucial. Almost on the charge out there from Forsaken as he comes in for the pinch. But the rest of the attackers now from Persija have already gotten their uh, way on the beat. And, and you know, that's what the Negan can do on a map like this. Fast rotations to get the catches on. It's a fast take here for Persija. Just trying to shoot away the scoreboard. Go away. We want the action here, but drop down immediately as Paper X is all stacked up by the arcade Jingo. The final of the lurky Eeyore and Mike Freak gonna get on the board as well. The fire right now whipping out the headhunter. Here comes the push guard to save for a second, but it's Asterus who does get the takedown. PSJ though, stuck in the middle of this tower, and the siege is here from Ben Kai and the Vi who say bye. Paper X! First round, using pistol and already looking pretty exciting. I have to say though, Asterite, team yeah. ideology wise, Paper X and first gel, especially for the Paper X we're seeing right now, who's more willing to keep on fighting in these earlier rounds. This can be scrappy because we saw from first gel against Bonkers how they can took control of the last two maps when Bonkers couldn't keep up with the, let's say, the style and speed of their pace. That might work against Bonkers, but Paper Rex is a team that you know uh, thrives in that uh, in those very forced encounter situations. And we saw that when they uh, when they faced off against their opponents, uh, Fancy United Esports, the other day. That Forsaken and Jing would just always love to go for that challenge, to go for that aggression and get that aggressive map control. And speaking of which, they're the ones that are actually initiating the fight here as they charge right out using the relay bolt of Forsaken alongside Jing to kind of help him out push further. If he takes damage, Jing can always just refrag or even heal if need be. Eeyore, always a good shot, but... Oh, actually he is a good shot, but only good for the one. Yeah, so if he's the rat C demon on that, uh, on the usual aspect, right now he's Watch the rat speed demon. But as of yet, guys, the, the round isn't over yet. There's a big scoreboard in the way, but we'll do our best to call the action. And Asterisk right now, able to get the bow down onto the five. Spike is in his head, picked up a specter, but Ikabu Mind Freak sees you. And there you have it now. It's the right overlay and the right peak for paper rex two to zero but you can see that there's a lot of initiation courtesy of paper rex forsaken will run at you Enkai will set something up and jing is there for the heals for the slow orb if need be it's already a triumvirate looking the triumph here for people one enemy uh, remaining now it's gonna be the buy round for uh first J esports here i think everything that paper rex have just done is just again that forward map control that we saw them uh, have have utilized when they went against 
against uh, Fancy United. We are seeing a different composition to that. But I think the mentality is still the same. Ben Kai. Uh, how? What? That's a good spot. Where did he do that? Where did he throw it out? Where did it come from? Yeah. That's a. That's an interesting angle. I'd love to see where he actually threw it, and then I'll try to use it in lander. <laughs> thank you, Ben Kai. Thank, thank I you. I saw for you the that. other day online with like four other people. Uh, Who were you no, playing no, with, Dax? Don't... Who were you playing uh, with, huh? Huh? I was actually playing. Oh, so funny story. As Eeyore and Benkai do get the takedown. Benkai, they're getting three. I'll tell the story afterwards because Paper Rex is already finishing up the round, and there you go. Speedily done. And it's interesting because first, I didn't even have the buys for the third round. It's three already in a row for Paper Rex. Mm -hmm. But just to wrap up my story, I, I was waiting for the Niles boys to be ready to go out, and I ended up playing Kala Runs. Yeah. And yeah, I, I was terrible because I haven't played in so long. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. the invite, by the way. TFTI. Oh. Oh, there. you were asleep already. What do you mean? What? I, I asked you. No. You know, you didn't you know the two words I always all. ask you. What? I didn't ask at all. I'm pretty sure I would have. I asked you. You know that It is a rare occurrence to see like, online. No. Like, uh, oh, the Valorant. You know what? I'll invite you to the other thing. All right. Online. Flash out. Well, let's invite ourselves back to the game. Fame was there. Good start. First joke. Yeah, they are actually using their numbers now, thinking that, again, it's players of Paper X that would love to always go for that advantageous push out and person that they're like screw this we're just gonna go in and charge out it works out in their favor a couple are gonna be stuck onto the side mind freak still somewhere on a but there it is famous finds him the vi well left to his own devices as he will just be equipped with the sheriff as well as that headhunter he can try to interchange between these very strong if he can hit those initial one taps but his opponent is plenty and their angles multitude or multiple Multitudes, layers of layers of Sheriff gameplay, perhaps. But the headhunter now with the first find onto Famous in behind. We are making noise, forcing the Vi to look there. And Rose Five will take advantage of that fact and then get, get the takedown. So I think these rounds kind of formality, in all honesty, as right. We saw mm -hmm. the rush on downs. We saw Paper Rex taking the initiative. And this time we see Persija finally picking up the guns. And you can see the first answer they have for these initial plays with Paper Rex. They just heavily stabbed that dish just to deal easier. with the push of Paper Rex. Forsaken, he's an amazing player. But you know, the 1v5, I don't think you're going to be able to shoot yourself out of that one. So this is the point now where the game really starts. Paper X will have the buys. First, Jeff finally puts the stop to the initial antics that Paper X is playing. And we're going to be expecting more of a more, I'd say, usual defense here from the side of Paper X. But since they got the kills a while ago, it's already the tour de force here for the buy. Forsaken just want to destroy that uh, tidbit of utility. Dubai, he does get blotted in terms of vision, but Eeyore still wanting to force the issue here. Doesn't really rotate back, and look at Famous. This might put Dubai in a really cheeky spot if nobody's actually going to help him out. And he hits a shot. Eeyore does, Dubai does not. And here we go, they start chiming right in as the Orbital Strike, even allowing the rest of the attackers to, to just keep pushing. Forsaken, though, able to anchor just for a teeny tiny bit as he does get the trade-off. Spike will get planted in Paper Rex. How many do we have? Three versus four as they try to retake the site. Yeah, Neural Threat forcing Forsaken's hand. And also, he tried to use the Fastlane 4 to cover. But it's Persage now on site and ready to frag out. Mind Freak caught out here by Flinch. Really famous in Flinch. This is a strong connective duo here for the side of Persija. They want to win this against Paper Rex. You have to see these two guys pop off, especially as they have improved. And we're seeing a bit of the scrap here already, as right? Paper Rex willing to fight very early on. The Vidal Punish, you talked about the cheeky angles Persija has. And I think one of the strengths they are going to have here on the attacking side is if they can exploit that Paper Rex wants to go for a quick duel at the start, the double up on the angles is something PSJ can work on. And let's not forget, they're running that Brimstone here. So expect a lot of speed also for some of these peaks, but Eeyore, and I believe Aster Sprite on the first the roster coming in from the Boom side. We've seen Boom a while ago make it to the playoffs. They have this different style. But I noticed from Persija that 
they also have a completely contrasting outlook to the game mm -hmm. compared to Boom Esports. So that might be the reason why, you know, they have their own roster right now. They came in as BWL, picked up by such an illustrious go. football organization. The game is afoot, and Dubai is not going to give up with the sniping. He has the op in hand towards that B site. Very quick dash there Toss to utilize for down. Forsaken. Really wants to get that initial little push. And I do really like this from PSJ. A lot of the things that people just, uh, when they play, you know, from a normal perspective or normal standpoint, this fracture map is they don't really utilize the long zip line, but it allows you for so much control because it gives you that access to dish as well as arcade pushes, you know, where uh, some people might just go to underground, but that takes so much time. And with this one, it does give also Persija the yeah. understanding that there is so much more on Dish, and it is actually difficult to push out of Dish. It's more of a supplementary angle, but if you want to use all of your numbers, it's way, way better to actually just keep charging out onto A main. That being said, though, uh, okay, these flashes are from are from Rosify. I thought it was actually from Venkai, but I was looking at the minimap. He was nowhere near there. So Team Flash is abound, but Deeper Rex are here to fight. ER is already knocked off. The stun not really connecting, and Forsaken smells blood in the water, keeps charging right in. In Persija, they found themselves in a very, very sticky situation with two members onto the site, one coming in from the flank. It could work out, and it seemingly can, as Asterisk and Famous take kills apiece. Yeah, single file though, dangerous, but right now the shooting them the way out of this one as Flinch finds Mind Freak. Benkai now all alone. Aftershock to try and flush out the push there from the raise. Looking for us at the 1v1 versus Flinch. But he just doesn't play to his namesake. Steadfast on the tower. It's Persija who was able to get their goal towards that A site. And I personally think it is a gamble to go for the single file. But it's really just to try and stop any of these antics from Forsaken. But Forsaken, the adjustment there. Go through the door, get the flank on. Persia just didn't have such a stellar hold on the site itself. This would have been another Paper Rex victory. But you can see already the rostering that the Persija roster has just in these aim duels just as soon as they've taken those sites and simplified the angles of attack there from the opposition that's where they thrive and i think when there are teams that try to keep parity with that that's where the problem entails we saw it in the matchup versus bonkers we might see it right now if paper x doesn't adjust in time yeah that was a, one of the issues that we've uh uh, kind of encountered when Persuja, as you mentioned, was fighting against Bonkers on Haven, is this they couldn't really match up to the defense of Bonkers at some point with RDW being at the um, at the aggressive helm on his, I believe I was playing a chamber at that point. Uh, but this time, I think it's going to be a different case here, Dax. Even though it is a back and forth uh, thing, this first half I think still favors Persuja a lot more because of, again, how the layout of Fracture just allows them to be more creative and really have to force the defenders to use their initial utility and then some, right? Where in some maps, you don't really have to overcommit utility. In Fracture, you actually have to do so or else, uh, again, avenues of attack are going to be pretty abound. That being said, Paper Rats do know about this and immediately you see that they rotated Ben, uh, yeah, Divide all the way through the A site just so he can have his traps there to stop them from coming right in. Jing, though, he's got the new nice boost spot, but uh, double down too long on it as Famous finds him in turn. Yeah, nice wall to get the first kill, but Versage now navigating through the Viper's pit and Eeyor does he avoid you. the efforts there of the Viper for sake and tries to use the overdrive but doesn't work out. And Persia just so quickly getting to take that Famous actually finding Mind Break along the way. And Persia Esports, the single stack setup, it's interesting, but it's working. You also notice that they do put Eeyor to try and leave a tripwire on a certain angle as much as possible. Yeah. There's a possibility for the lurk for the Cypher, but also, just in case they want to understand if Paper Rex is pushing on the other side, that might be the signal that they can go on with. For a second, using that overdrive as you mentioned as well, uh, I'm not really yeah, the biggest fan of that because uh, me and Raph were talking about this, like, how effective is, you know, the overdrive compared to the blade storm? It's actually really effective, but it's, but it's good if you have low HP opponents, because it allows you to reset faster. Whereas the blades, you know, if you're a crack shot, you hit those heads, it's good because it's one shot, one kill. But for the overdrive, 
it's 22 tick per, uh, damage per tick, which means that if your opponent is like 150 HP, it gives you like a solid maybe one, one and a half, maybe two and a half seconds that you can still react. And you know these pros will not uh, miss a beat to make that happen. Yeah, and I, I'm just not a big fan personally in terms of this high tier gameplay, but you mentioned for the cleanup, yes, it's good. Right now, people Rex, they're gonna need more than a mob to try and win this round. Flinch right now with the blades are looking for precision. Nice blind though, courtesy of Ben Kai, smoothing his position. Famous instead with the takedown. Jay again with the boost. Blades right now do come on out, but awkwardly there. Flinch runs on the blades. And he can't get the takedown. Ben Kai though with the defuse, and they do get the kill in time here from Persija. That was so close though. The distraction was through from Paper Rex, and they could have stolen that away in an eco state. Oh, so close. So we've seen Benkai not shy away from uh, retaking sites and ghosting the spike. It's the kind of ghosting that you want to be able to do. Right? Or actually, no, that's Ninja Q is what I was thinking. <laughs> Hello? Asurai Ghoster? No. Oh, that, oh, that's why you've been like this recently. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. You're exposing yourself to the world stage there, my friend. But oh, no. that could have been another moment, you know, flashbacks of that fancy United game, just the way it ended with a whimper rather than a roar, because Benke just says, you know, well, I'm just, just going to defuse this and, and we're done. But the guns now are out here for Paper Rex. You can see they're anticipating more of the push of Persija, but from the underpass, we feel the ground break for Rosify. Do they fight fight for the time in the corner? He's just hiding. He's just patient. Jin will get the first, but it's timing perfected there by Mind Freak, and he will blow our minds yet again with the play. Two from the Viper as he hides in the corner. Too late for Rosify to go for the aftershock, and Paper Rex able to stay a step ahead of Persija in that round. It was unfortunate because PSJ, they used the Rolling Thunder down below, so Rosify wasn't in position for that aftershock. And you can see how much of an impact this corner was for Mind Free. That is so cheeky. Like, really, Spike really cheeky down. that he was able to, uh, to do that. One Just stay remaining. inside his own wall and not even a batted eyelash from first. Just like, wait, that's kind of a weird wall. What's happening here? Do we need to check it or something? To be fair though, tower control is a must, here. but yeah, that was some really good stuff there. Dubai just putting out the traps once again. Of you're not making any noise whatsoever though. They can maybe cloud burst it. There it is, but it's only gonna allow them for just a little bit, a few seconds before Forsaken. What was that? He just charges right in. <laughs> It almost seemed to be a good exchange if Benkai could have gotten more than just the one kill, but it is incredibly Ooh, awkward. Dubai, though, has pushed himself all the way out. I wonder if he does have a TP or something. No, he's committed to the push, and he will get traded off. Jing does have the res ready. If he can find at least one teammate onto Sands, they will be able to bring this back into the three versus three, and there you have it. Benkai also has his Rolling Thunder, can use that ultimate to check out the rest of the site or make easy the retake on that A site. There's only one outside of it. Here comes Jing. Oh, they still are so ready for that. And Paper Rex don't even know what hit him. They thought they had what they what it took, but not even close. Yeah, nice stack there from Perisic. Uh, overall, though, feels like more of a misplay there from Paper Rex. Did they think that Perisic was further than that? Because this was so awkward. That's right, this is what I'm going to say. That was a jet on Forsaken, he would be ready to shoot. He wouldn't be tempted to go for the high gear. And I think that's something awkward about the Neon. If you can't assess their exact position, and you run right into them, even if you try to slide on away, you can still get trapped by a squad like Persija. And as soon as that happens, they got that side. It would have been an incredible play already. They were anticipating that Cloud Burst on the trademark just because they had that stack ready over onto the sands down below in ropes by the door itself. But the case in point now, Persija is in the lead. That double stack by the staircase, effective enough to surprise Paper Rex despite that rolling thunder. And this time right now, it's a drop applying the pressure. We get the shock ball though for Forsaken to try and get the Tukas's on. Fast lane is there to navigate through to the other side, give them that kind of cover. But famous went for the showstopper, and it's Flinch instead getting a takedown. Forsaken though with the Guardian gameplay. Three already here for the side first job. It is fast brags all around for this matchup. Jing and Mind Freak have to retreat a little bit, but the neural death will expose their positions. And they only have the pistols anyway. Might as well fight till they die. Flinch now. No flinching whatsoever. Three here for the Jet. Eeyore hits his name. And it's 7-4 for Persija Esports. 
Last round Clean in stuff the from Persija again. They just love to go for these four, five man pushes. And even though Forsaken threw everything he had just to try to delay them, really bolts, uh, fast lane, everything, it still was not enough here, Dax. The ability for Persija to utilize what they have is really incredible. And one of the uh, players that have really allowed this to happen is right there, uh, fourth in line for Persija, famous. Eight assists on this raise. All the nasas he's been throwing out have been really, really effective to just uh, let things happen for the Persija roster. With all that, though, this next round comes in. Forsaken already finding one, and he's like, oh, no, I got stunned. Forsaken's going to get me, and he gets knocked off. But Forsaken here, not expecting that B main push. Nobody was holding it. And Jing going to try to hold again the angle with the wall. They've heard it. They know it. But they don't really have any control in Arcade, but it still works as Jing incapacitates <laughs> two players. The first job, but flinch. All right, he stepped up to the plate, but he'll have to do a little bit more than that to open up the site. Go can't even close that lid and close the chapter to this first half. This is five to seven. It's Persija with the lead, but Pipa Rex able to get that recovery in the last round. It's a little interesting because first it was the mistake of Pipa Rex investing way too much on their push. It's good enough for the pickoff, but since it's fracture, you can still get flat. And it was a great effort there from the side of Asterisk and Co. They actually push on forward. What happens though in response is you're expecting that arc and take to happen from Persinger, right? And it's already the same boost wall over and over again for Jing. But since he has that tactical advantage, Persinger just peeking from the angle that's expected, <laughs> then for Paper Rex, it's like, okay, the single file gameplay, that's gonna be working on out for us instead. And as soon as that mm -hmm. happens, it's just so clean for Paper Rex. This game. It has to be absolutely high tempo. This is such a good matchup in a way to compare it to the other one because these guys are just here to frag out, here to go for those initial plays, get the pickoffs, and then either work from there or most likely just keep that advantage, push it even more so, and wipe out the opposition. That's the way Persija won against the likes of Bunkers. That's how FIFA Rex won against Fancy United barring that last round. And this is... This is really what APAC is all about from what we've seen. I think we've talked a lot about the evolution of some styles here and there, but it's raw aim, raw game. That's what I'm expecting right now. But some grid, some really smart setups for both sides, I do have to say. Yeah, especially for uh, for Persija, again, with how cleanly they've taken a lot of these sites. Uh, that's really the difficulty, I think, for Fracture, is that the philosophy of this particular map compared to any other is like, uh, for, for let's like compare it to like Haven, right? Where Haven, you can actually be on the site and still be able to fight. But here in Fracture, you can do that, but the percentage of you actually surviving is not really a lot. You can't say that, but that's right, I experienced it in my rank game. I can just hold the site. And it's really different when, <laughs> when utility is well utilized. There's just nothing that leaves it to the imagination. For B, at least you can fight because tower Come is a place where attackers have to really push in. But for A-side itself, it's really not that difficult to there. flush defenders out. Speaking of which, though, round of this pistol starts. Jing is holding on. Forsaken. Oh, he's been snuffed out and he's actually taking some fatal damage. The rest of his teammates now charging into the B-side itself. They will be able to hunker down as the dust settles, as the retake uh, happens here, Dax. The four versus four will ensue. Now listen to the floor, though. Because that's a Cypher in the Brimstone right under Forsaken. But to no surprise, we get the Scrappy Duels. And you mentioned it, it's no man's land if you stay on site. Might as well make a play later on. But the Vi with the drop down catches out Rose Vi off guard. Page still to bring the damage. Headhunter right now still ready. But it's Eor actually with a backstab there to get that kill. Mind Freak though. Finds famous in response. Asterisk with a defuse. But the volley, it lands right in front of the staircase. Someone needs to push it for Paper Rex. Asterisk, he's sticking it. And Rose do not fake. Paper Rex, they get a taste of their own medicine instead. And what a clutch from Asterisk. I was worried about the volley, but apparently it's far enough in time and in tune to protect him at last. That was amazing. I, I, you're absolutely right. There's nothing that you can really do other than just hope that their pop shots through the smoke was enough, but their pistols, not as effective as automatic weapons would have been, but 
man, the the ner the steely nerves here of Aster is just to kind of commit to the defuse. You gotta commend this man because he was up against Paper Rex that don't really shy away from that fight. That being said, Paper Rex, uh, not really a good start, especially in the second half. They really needed to get things started with that pistol, but as it gets denied from their hands, they will have to back away. But go, go, go. I uh, reserve myself. They actually go for the force buy. Rex, they want to will themselves to that victory. Gotta say, though, that was just such great heads-up play from Asterisk. And it's really that nuance that will give these teams these victories. Because initially, I was like, okay, you want to shoot it to the corner to prevent them from coming through. But since Paper Rex was far enough anyway, right? They could have just jumped through and actually caught catch out the Brimstone there. So, yeah, this, this is why these guys approach these guys want to play this aggression because they know that they can make plays for themselves. Good start here for Paper Rex. If they're gonna go for the force buy, that initial pick is just absolutely helpful. But Famous now blind all around, but Asterisk and Rose Fight do get the takedowns. Mind Freak though on the board, and Paper Rex now will be on site. Miss though, it's still PSJ fighting back. Famous now with the one. Mind Freak there gets the answer. And on site here, Rose Fight trying to get the angle, will eventually break. The barrier orb. Where is the buy coming from? From the hallways there. Crossfire now being set by Paper Rex. Fault line, no connection. Nice tap from the buy. And here we go. Mind Freak playing the cunning game, the waiting game, and striking when the iron is hot and right. Six to eight, Paper Rex. Get back on the board here in the second half. I love that crossfire that the setup. Not because it's just a crossfire, but I think one of the byproducts of it was you saw. Uh, Rosify charge up his fault line thinking that his opponent was going to be at default. He pops it up and doesn't hit Mind Freak. I think it was banking on the fact that Mind Freak was still at that initial spot that he planted the spike on, or well, yeah, um, that he threw out the snake bite, and it didn't really work for him. The slow push from PSJ uh, not really helping the case there for that retake. And the bet here for Paper Rex, really good, because now that ruins the economy of PSJ. And to be honest, I think it 